Yo, yo, yo. Hello. Hello, hello. What's up, El Mario? I have the stream open. I'm trying to get some stuff here for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, just doing some prep for lectures tomorrow. Yo, 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 demo reviews. Good evening. Gonna do some Pythagorean theorems with the students tomorrow. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I just got finished with a snake and banter. Um, as per usual, I'm just gonna like hang out for like 10 right now and then uh, I'll get the real stuff in order. I'm gonna go through a couple of these videos which have been popping up. Apparently, Ash, uh, the coach of Gamer Legion, is starting to put content out. I think he's hired some editors. So it seems like this is some pretty high-quality stuff, so I want to check what this stuff's out. Uh, Lawner's made a video. I'll give my thoughts on his thoughts. Uh, we got this PGL recap for complexity, which I feel like is a little late, but I kind of want to check out what they're about. And um, I'll still do... Uh, I'll do another demo review today at the end of this to just kind of get through these these demos that people have uh, used channel points on. So, um, do you think there's a world in which simple returns to his old form? No. Uh, if we're talking like 2021 simple, no. Uh, where he was like the highest rated major MVP ever playing top opposition constantly? No. Um, might even pull out this... Um, some other videos here. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Um, I don't even know who this is, but it's got a lot of views, so I'm kind of curious about that one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll look at some other videos, too. But um, what am I drinking? Uh, Coke Zero Cherry. Coke Zero Cherry. You see the bait tiles and you always click them? Yeah, I'm going to look at... Uh, who do I th who do I think the new C9 player is? <laughs> if I had any idea, uh, that'd be that'd be cool. Wait a second. Actually, I realize I think I could use a higher bit. Oh, it's too late. I can't raise my bit right too much. Um, Zorte would be kind of cool. Yeah, Zorte would be sick. Yeah, I mean, who should it be? Yeah, give me like an Art Frost. Give me a. Zorte, give me... Dude, at this point, I literally said give me Dexter. Just give me an Opper. Okay. Let's see how the YouTube... Are people are people tuned in on YouTube, too? I totally... Give me like an Art Frost. Give me a... Let's see. Got a, got a few people watching on YouTube right now. I gotta pop out the chat, though, so that I can... um. Cause it's like too big. It's too the web page. The web page is so awkwardly made now, on YouTube for live streams. Like because of this new layout, I just don't really love it. Um, I kind of like. I need a way to pop out chat, but I don't even see the link for that anymore. Cause the they would change the web. Usually it used to be here. Usually it used to be you would have the vi the thing here. And then the chat box would be here. Okay, we're here. Okay, okay, okay. There it goes. Pop out chat. Okay, there we go. Pop it out. Pop it out. There we go. Now I can get that. Bring this over here. And then, uh, yeah, we're good. We're better. We're in a better position now. Now I can read both of you guys. Cool. Hi. Um, going. He just joined to see he's the problem going to work back to work now. Cool, cool. 
Uh, Maui, when is minus Nikodaz happening? It's not. He's a sick rifler. Twitch sucks on my phone, so I'm really happy about YouTube. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad people are able to to watch uh, on either platform now, so I can. Uh, the U new YouTube thing is awkward as hell. It's not awkward as hell. Okay, I'm gonna just do some like I'm just gonna shoot some bots for a little bit here, and then I'll uh, start watching some of these videos and breaking some stuff down. But as per usual, just making sure that it's um, you know, as per usual, just just um. Go off theater mode. Well, I, I already, I already popped it out. I already popped it out. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should learn some more nades. So today I'm on a little bit later. We just recorded a sink and banter episode. We. Uh, so usually I'm not going to be on this late, or like I wouldn't. I would be on this late, but I, this would be maybe three hours into my stream at least. But today. Um, I'm still trying to be on, well, I'm still on, but I just want to, I just wanted to, hey, thank you, Floofies, thanks for raiding me last night, appreciate that. So, yeah, I'm gonna get into some of the stuff, like, I think this is gonna, I kind of am still figuring out exactly what the daily planning and programming of this stream is, so... As I do more and more, I think the program gets cleaner and cleaner, because I, uh, I, I usually pull a few things that I know I want to talk about, but then I get sidetracked a lot because someone brought into chat yesterday what I thought of analyst desks, and then that was a two-hour conversation to start the day. And I think today, you guys are pretty interested in, like, Cloud9 stuff. Party with Thor. All of this analyst work is still crisp against the bots. Thank you. Yeah, so, I mean, I did a stream also yesterday night where I didn't really interact with chat or anything like that. I'm just I'm just streaming my open matches this season whenever I play them, which should be Mondays and Wednesdays in the evening. It's not super high-level CS or anything like that, but, I mean, what what am I right now on, face it? Like, 20, 2,400 ELO, 2,500 nearly, like, one game away from that. So, I'm almost in the top 1,000 in North America again. Uh, I'm, like, I'm, like, 70 ELO from top 1,000 NA. Honestly, you can just be as impromptu as you like. Yeah, but I, I think it I think it just makes the stream a little bit more engaging if it's always if it's if it's a little bit more planned out though. For the snake and banter, we had Robu. He's like a Finnish Finnish caster. Uh so obviously his good point was Yimpat. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like I could have seen that one coming from a mile away. But uh I mean, it's always nice to sing the praises of a player that's up and coming who has now really shown that he belongs in Tier 1. So, and Jimmy has done that quite, quite easily. Top 25,000 EU for top 1,000 NA? Practically, yes. I don't think that's even a stretch. So, I feel like C9 to go minus Hobbit, Axile, get a Star Rifler and a decent Opera. I don't think a Star Opera fixes their problem of Opera and losing their Star Rifler. Um, I don't really... I don't think you can really afford to uh, get rid of two people right now that easily. Like, I don't think you can get rid of Hobbit and Axile. I think... Well, why would you do that even right now? Like, right now you're just trying to see... Okay, wait a second, guys. We're going to get an Opera finally... Is that going to free up some of our players because we're going to play a slightly different style that is a little bit more reliant on having a good opera? Like, I, I don't think you do anything other than just sign an opera right now. Now you freed it up. It's not. It's probably the last player you would have wanted to swap. Uh, I think. I think Boomich, Boomich and to me, Boomich and Electronic were the two most valuable players on that Cloud9 team. Even though Axel had a really big uptick in performance at the major. I am not really relying on that being sustained. And so now you are missing your best overall player and just get an offer. I don't I don't think there's really anyone up to play Dota. <laughs> we are the exact same ELO. Top 1000 NA is a fast climb when you're in it one pug when it's like 50 plus positions on the leaderboard. Yeah, it does seem like that. Did Electronic get kicked or did he decide to leave? He definitely decided to leave. 
I mean, Hobbit or Axile, not both. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, I get what you mean. I'm not good at- I'm not as good at flicking down. Flicking down feels bad. Because my crosshair is almost never above someone. Like, when am I ever flicking down? If I'm coming out of heaven on nuke, or if I'm coming out of heaven on overpass, I think that's pretty much it. Every other map, I'm pretty much flicking up. Not that I even really have to flick too much. It's mostly about micro corrections because of good crosshair placement. But sometimes people do peek you at a time when you're not ready. But um, how much? How can Boomich win when Perfecto is cry? Well, nuke control to stairs. Yeah. Okay, cop it. Secret to double. So so nuke stuff. Okay, how do you practice sick crosshair placement? I think you would probably use refrag. My friends and I all ban vertigo every single time we play. I never, ever, ever play vertigo, so I never even really have to think about that. My friends and I play pretty much like five maps. We'll sometimes play Mirage, but we usually just ban it out. We will not really play Inferno anymore, and then we actually... we. We pretty much just play the other five maps. Like, oh, we play Overpass, we play... We play Overpass, we play Anubis, we play Ancient, we play... Uh... Is that it? What, what's the last? Anu Anubis, Anubis, Ancient, Overpass... What am I missing? Nuke. Nuke, Nuke. Yeah. Those are the four maps we play the most, and then we sometimes play Mirage. But Mirage is like... It's kind of like almost if we're feeling lazier. Like, we're just like, uh, whatever. Okay. Alright, let me get into some stuff. Okay. So. So, 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 so. I wanted to watch this first, because Ash, the coach of Game Religion, came out with this video. Um, so I want to see what this is about. I've been coaching Game Religion. Oh, okay. Alright. Tell me if the volume's good when I rewatch this one. For the past three years, I've been coaching Game Religion. And today, I've decided to give you a glimpse of the kind of strategy a coach can bring to the table at Counter-Strike. We're going to look at how we were able to read and exploit Vertus Pro's game plan on Overpass, securing Rizzo win, and qualifying to the main stage of IEM Katowice. At the time, Vertus Pro were regarded as one of the most informed teams in the world of Counter-Strike. And after trading maps, we were left on an Overpass decider, with it being arguably the strongest map for both teams. For this video, I want to talk about two examples where we exploited the small gaps in VP's sturdy defense. We will describe Vertus Pro's CT side as offensive, with them regularly vacating the connecting bathroom areas early in the round in order to play closer together in a compact style towards both bomb sites. The reason why they want to choose to avoid common areas that CTs usually play is that they want to play as closely together as they can, while so in utility as much as possible to stall the tees in order to make quick rotates due to how close they play together. This also means that their anchor players can flash both bomb sites to assist their teammates also whilst keeping control in their positions. So what's the plan? We start by recognizing just how early they like to leave the contested areas of the- Okay, first thing, first impressions, one minute in. The production value on this is really high, but his microphone is like a headphone mic- it's a headset microphone. So what's the plan? This is like a cloud- this is like a cloud 2 microphone. Like the contested areas of the map. For the A players, this is a toilet and connector area. And Hugo mic, yeah. 15, this is a total ghost town. So if we to break this down into objectives, then objective number one is to be courageous and take the space of the connector and towards A, so we have the room to create an opportunity to fake later. Objective number two is to deny any information that VP wants to get, and at the same time understand how they want to play. We cannot know what their game plan is, or how they will choose to adapt if they feel they have totally lost map control early in the round. So, we're going to a prolonged freeze to see if they make an unlikely mistake. Wow. From the clock to 30 seconds, and throwing a fake in the late round so they're convinced that this is where our planned ended is. There is a problem though. Overpass is a map where faking is often very difficult due to how much- Dude, this is incredible to production value. To safely, ...and the vast distance between the two farm sites. Whereas for the CTs, they're not only able to rotate in a fraction of the time, 
but they can also flash above each from site from the opposite one, meaning that CTs are able to be connected when playing super defensively. To sell a fake effectively, we'll have to abuse the lack of information that they have, making them so desperate that we're forced to react to any information that we give them, whether real or fake. Objective number three is to use an alert smoke that not only denies information for the CTs playing on the bomb sites, but in this case, it allows us to quietly close the gap. And then, objective number four takes the form of a beautifully synchronized B fake. All it's left to do is to have trust that the plan works and barrage onto the A bomb site with three players. Okay, I'm gonna just have to remark on it. We all know what we're watching here. For someone that doesn't know what the hell's going on, like, when they're using these, like, single-colored instances like, thi like this, I feel like this is probably a little bit... I'm, I'm being really critical. This thing is insane. Like, this is incredible, incredible, incredible production value, but, like... I'll say, like, like this right here, it actually took me a split second to be like, where the fuck is this T standing? And then I realized he's at connector. Yeah. Beautifully it looks like something from, like, a Netflix show, like a... Like, it's definitely like a... It's really crazy, though. Like, th this also, I was like a little bit like, wait a second, what the, where the fuck are they standing? But no, it's really good. So that's the plan. So now let's have a look at how it went. Chaos just throws a fake over at the B bomb site, and look how much space that's created. Virtus Pro is jumpy. Yup. Malaysia flight type production. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. A simple but controlled 2 2 1 default. Where according to our plan, we freeze in positions to run down the clock and beat any Virtus Pro information or aggression. After being able to slowly take space during the round, we let the clock run down and we use a simple lurks vote for a like, heavy V fake to leave Virtus Pro totally in the dark. With the perfect fake and time rate low, Virtus Pro are forced to rotate four players onto the V. Wait, he's using. um. He's using the social network background music. This is literally a song in the social network. Go site, despite having three on A only a few seconds earlier. The fake is still so well that when the well time attack comes in the bomb site, even the last defender in fame. This is a Trent Reznor track. <laughs> Isaac shows his quality going to the bomb site. And with some late kills from Chaos and the saving CTs, the plan is a total success and resets the virtual economy, leading us one step deeper at IM Carfusa. The second example follows the same pattern, but this time with a slight variance of tempo. Objective number one is to take the space available quickly and carefully, and by 1 minute 20 we already have total connect control with some A pressure, which pushes shame and fame back towards our defensive protocol. Objective number two is to then as quickly and quietly as possible make our way towards B for a coordinated B hit. Objective number three to hit at the earliest possible moment with the hope that the B rotates and Mia bites in our early information at A to rotate. But in the worst case scenario, we should avoid any B stack and go into a maximum of three CTs, which is exactly what happens. We also use pre planned HE grenades hitting the area that Norbert has been frequently playing in recent masters, ending his round before he even realizes what happened. Then, as five, we totally swarm the remaining defenders, giving VP an impossible situation that even their world class players cannot salvage. When preparing a game plan, it's very important to understand what the opponent is trying to achieve, and here it is clear. They want to minimize risks, be close together to rotate quickly and stall on bomb sites until the cavalry arrives. And whilst this is a well drilled defense, it does have its limitations. Seeing such limitations is a coach's job, along with creating a rehearsed game plan that exploits them. As much as coaches create game plans, they often do not work out fully as expected. With teams also changed up their own game plan and created mind games where the best in-game leads are locked into mental battles trying to outthink their opponent. In this instance, everything worked out perfectly. A massive credit has to be given to the players with how flawlessly they were able to execute all aspects of the plan with such precision in the final map against the series against elite opposition. Hopefully this has offered some insight of the pre-game duties that the coaches will regularly cover most of. If you'd like to see more, leave some feedback, then let me know, and maybe we can look into creating some other topics in the world of coaching. Uh, yeah, so for context, I mean, this is the Gamer Legion coach, Ash, um, making a video for, uh, just talking about the game planning and how it worked out versus VP in map three for, I think it was the group stage or something, or was it the play-in? For the past three years... I think it was the play-in, actually. And, uh, they, and so, um, yeah, the production value is absurd. Um, this reminds me of a lot is, uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I did have to search lo-fi hip hop cause I was making a YouTube video and I just screen recorded it. That's why I did that. Um, what was, what was I thinking? Um, 
it was like double scope or something. Anders with Anders, I think it was this. Yeah, the double scope stuff. What unfortunately really sucks is that this stuff like it just doesn't get views. Like this is Yanko, Yanko, Anders, and myself were doing these videos. Like here, this was insane too. Side. So on the T side. Vitality attempted to attack the A bomb site eight times, the B bomb site eight times, and like, a single round was decided on kills before any clear choice was made. I. They successfully won T rounds four it, times. It's because it hasn't decided it if it's eight, for visuals or for learning. The These videos round. were so good, and I completely a forgot about them. Example of the kind of round that worked very well for the Frenchman is round. You have to love CS turning out that hard and love this the videos. This round begins with Vitality taking control of middle and catwalk. Yeah, Mahones are very Mahones are very less less visually impressive, but definitely more about the breakdowns of everything that's going on. Um, it's not about skins, so it's doomed. Facts, I guess. Uh, someone saying, "When's the new Snake and Banter coming out?" Uh, well, we just recorded one. We just recorded one. Uh, so pushing. I feel like with a little over thirty seconds. I feel like the okay. I'm just gonna say like I think. What the weird thing, the weird thing about content like this to me is that I, I kind of, unfortunately, I just kind of don't know who it's for because I think the people that are getting nerdy about breakdown stuff like this are probably already just watching the demo uh, themselves. And then I feel like the people that are too casual to really appreciate or like that should want to know a little bit more about it, what would be so much better for them if you really want to get people involved in like what uh if you really want to get people to like the game more just do player interest just player player interest would just go a lot long got a lot further uh just say like here's the backstory of like yimpat and how he's like the brother of a, a like a, a once storied player from from finland and like you know you do bring up the sergey thing and stuff and i feel like because i feel like these breakdowns like for most of the people here in chat who are obviously more hardcore viewers you guys are probably more like, I already know this. Like, maybe some of you say you know this and you don't know this, but a lot of you act like you know this. You want, yeah, people, but people want, like, storylines and dramas a little bit more, which is why, like, round breakdowns have just, uh, like, like demo reviews, demo reviews can do well. I think demo reviews can do well, and, like, edited demo re reviews can do really well. But then this kind of middle ground of, here's some macro perspective game planning it always just, like, every time you see one of these, all it ends up being is, like, we threw some nades and pushed them back, then we threw flashes and they were blind. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's always the exact same thing. But, like, personal interest goes such a long way. And you got into CS by watching the score videos on backstories. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We were just talking, so Rabu in the chat here on Twitch is is saying his bad point on Snake and Banter had to do with the Valve, the Valve player profiles, and the Valve player profiles and how much they did for helping people. He even you, uh, he even said on the podcast uh, cultural impact. Yeah, they like they gave people a lot. They were a lot of cultural impact. There was a lot of cultural impact behind those, and just the. Uh, it, it helped. It helped people like Kenius and Pasha, and Fallen and Fur ascend to such uh, so much more in terms of everybody knowing about them. Uh, so the backstories are important. Next one, okay. Seiko did a mega interesting video about decision making in RMR game against OG that was actually insightful. So I think that would probably border on like the nerdier side. I could bring that one up too. I was gonna watch Launders' video though. We're gonna we're gonna two x Launders' video while he's in chat with me just like to say that i am not as much of a hater as i am a racist and today i was intending to come in <laughs> what a start very heavily what a start but i gotta say you guys did okay then i gotta go up to the dobby <laughs> hate very much in the last video and i think it might leave the hate weeks to the rmrs and make that a thing as we go into the shanghai major in the latter half of the year and i want to try to segment the calendar into a bunch of different types of content like news or commentary videos that come out every monday or hate weeks for the rmrs because we can all get behind that for some reason uh, and right now, it's the postseason. It's after PGL, and we are figuring out who's going to go where, who cannot take it anymore, and has to take, make a roster move. And today, we got some actual news literally 20 minutes ago. It's kind of um, crazy I'm putting got, this content changes, on YouTube. For new role, I, I want to hear your take. 
Give me your take. Uh, Argos, I think that's bench in Portuguese. Someone from uh, Brazil can help bank me in the comments. Goes to I the bank. That's what <laughs> bank translates to. So I think that this website has been auto-translated for me. So uh, I have read through this. So essentially, they've got a player whose name is Kai. Okay, and he comes from. Kai is trash, by the way. <laughs> Kai is terrible. The Fury Watching Kai demos yesterday hurt my soul on stream. On the main that dude was awful. That Fallen will continue to IGF. <laughs> Kai will take over our spots, and he will get the promotion. Now, people are wondering who's Kai, and I watched. I watched some Kai, okay. I watched some good demos, some bad demos. <laughs> oh. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I, I okay, yeah. I don't, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I am excited that Fury are making yeah. a change. He's bad. And as an He's ardent, so bad. fervent. He's so bad. Long-standing supporter. A Furia as a project, you know, since 2018 when Ian Connor went to Rio de Janeiro, home of Jame, to cast Furia in the grand finals, right? And by one of the players he coached in an old game later on. And lose. Right. We thought, wow, exciting CS, very promising. Art, and this is before Cadian sort of comes into the scene again. Art is the leader of a new movement of aggression, right? He's going to bring, bring Brazil back with the help of Yuri and Quesarado. Bring Art Monday. back. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And through 2020 to 2024 today, it basically just atrophies. They, they don't win anything. They win DreamHack Masters 2020, like North America Online. They're one of the best teams in 2020, so it's, the hype is still real, and it doesn't get Where's anything. your take? Wins. Espoo, this last December is Where's your take? Sort of career Give me your take. Unfortunately, and it just, and, and the saddest part is, is that all the while they lose their identity. Other and than so it's not gonna, I guess you already said it's not gonna work. Art's death warrant here, not to use Scrawny's amazing casting line, uh, in the Vitality phase match, I think it was. They signed Art's death warrant here by signing Fallen, right? Way back at Antwerp, or whenever it was. Um, not Antwerp. Antwerp is one who's on Imperial, but after that. Because after Rio, even obviously, that was the Rio. Rio was the peak of his team, right? Getting to beat Navi on land in front of a Brazilian crowd at a major in playoffs. That is it. Fury three on your legend stage, getting there, and that's that's what kind of buys everybody a little bit more time. But right now we're looking at two players in Art and the coach in Giri who are stepping back. Um, and Art's going to the bench. Kai's coming in, and this is just a, it is a sad day for Art. I think a lot of he's gotten so much hate, and I think for new fans, which is partly why they make these videos, we wonder what's the hype about Fury. They don't mean anything. You know, I heard how good Brazilian CS used to be. I know Fallen used to be good. He still seems okay, but he's not like legendary anymore. Why are we so excited? And it's because of Art. You know, it's because of the style that he brought to this team and the resurgence to this region. And he was a huge part in how they clawed out of Tier Two into Tier One. And he is the reason that we even know of Fury right now. It's, it's definitely Art. Uh, yes, uh, you know, that's the take. Lineup, right? Three fifths that's of the, the take. At this point. So I, you know, you got to give him a lot of credit, but it, it's a performance-based uh, industry that we're in, and it's not about all about legacy it is somewhat about legacy but it's not all about legacy and if you can't pick up trophies and you can't continuously improve and if you can get out of tier two to tier one but you can't go from tier one to winning then maybe you overstayed your welcome i hate to say it but uh i no one's supported art through thick and thin more than i have over the years i think you know a long time ago there was some a drama where furio were a very new team with all young players and they got into a bit of a i think you have been higher on art than a lot of people um, um back, you know like maybe it was missed out on kawes and big zero yeah <clears throat> And they said, oh, yeah, you followed the rules, Furia, but what happened? The take like, is when they signed Fallen that... Brazilian let me, wait, let me, let me read what you said. The take is when they signed Fallen that Art was finished eventually. Um, Don't, can't just let us have the round. It was and Gary didn't develop any talent on the Academy team. Yeah, I mean, I don't think... I don't know what... Well, weren't they, didn't they have... Didn't they have, like, either No Way or Decenty from the Academy team? Wasn't... When, when, I think it was Decenty was on the Academy team, and now he's on Imperial owning it up. So they did sell them, I think. They were bringing, they were better bringing Cold Zero for the reuniting thing, like how. Uh, can't abuse JPEG smokes anymore. Insani, I assume by. Dude, I don't know if Fury is bouncing back from this. Well, we're gonna see because it just seems like the buyouts are too ridiculous. Whatever it's worth, and I, I wouldn't. You know, come out and, and say anything uh, bad about the way that you guys acted. I thought it was great, and it was great to watch them from that point on. And I really had high hopes for Furia, but um, yeah, it's not personal for me. I think that right, they didn't use what's them. Happened now, and the fact that they signed Fallen, they said, "Hey, we don't we don't want to do Art's playstyle anymore, right? To use more severe language here, yeah, okay, pointed language. We don't want Art as the main opera. We got Fallen. We don't want Art as the IGL. We got Fallen. That's a two and one. If you couldn't see it coming at that point, I don't know what you were looking at. So they now they play rounds down to the last ten seconds. Doesn't really work. It's like the way that Fallen used to call for Luminosity SK back in 2016, 2017. It worked for them. Of course, they won two majors. They had a great year, but it's not working for this roster. It's not as fun to watch. It's not art. The stream looks like and so now it feels art like those cursed TikTok videos but on an average team, <laughs> and you know, uh, and and Furia are a ro are an org that have watched numerous amazing talents pass by, left Big Uzera on the bench for six months. That could have been your IGL to help out Art and bring in a new style and bringing new firepower to assist Caserato, you know, who's a really great sort of late round player, but someone who could come out in the early round like a Brazilian donk, a bonk, a fucking big Uzera, that could have been the guy. A they have bonk. players on the Furia Academy lineup that they didn't pick up. Look at what Nissim are, is doing on Pain. Look at what Kawes has done. Okay. You look at Fury Academy, one of the most poorly managed Academy lineups. They were one of the worst teams in, in WePlay. And I, and I think this <laughs> that's where true. We talk about Gary now, where I'm slamming him. I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to come in and hate, but now I'm starting to get a little angry. ZMB because Gary is someone who also a fraud. Think has just been, you know, a really kind of good person 
in terms of when you when you see him when you see him with the team, it feels like a coach. When you talk to in interviews, he's professional, he's courteous, he's kind, he's got a warm presence. I mean, I can really see a leader in him, right? I think that there, there's stuff here where him and Art, I mean, it seemed like the right combo. That was a heart and soul of the team, and I, I really think that. You know what Gary always should have done though? He should, should have made more YouTube content like Ash. Modern Cadian comes from players like Art. You know, he really did come after Art was already sort of introducing everybody to this new way of playing CS ultra extra aggressive it's like way more aggressive than it even was with the first wave of Brazilian CS many years before um but Gary like you know think about what Blade has done and Navi and how they managed their academy lineup and how much talent they've been pulled from that or sold players from there and look contrast that with Furia who have done nothing with their academy lineup they haven't been good in and of themselves they tried to mirror a Furia play style and had just seemed to have no leadership Launder's beard is demos. great their, their team is ass okay <laughs> uh, the Furia academy They're is quite not bad. good and he is in all of these star player positions on CT side he's playing mini on nuke he's playing or he's lurking outside on on T side He's playing Khan on, on Marauder, and honestly, he's playing a few different spots. There's a lot of star player roles he's not going to be ready for in Tier 1, and I don't think there's any real meaningful development for the Academy League. I saw him smoking Squeaky from Big Garage and then getting killed before it because of it in one of his demos. <laughs> I, saw him, I saw him not plan for himself and die uh, in a 1v1 because he played too far away from it. Like, I'm not seeing a star player, to be honest. And as much as I'm slamming Art here, I'm not seeing Kai as a good replacement. So I, I, I'm slamming both Art and, and Geary because I don't see that they've cultivated talent on their academy league to prepare for a moment like this. I don't think Art's good enough to stay on the team, so I'm, that part makes sense to leave. But I don't think Kai's good enough to replace him. So I think, you know, you plug one hole, but you take your only cork, and now there's another. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I really don't know about the future of Furia. I, I'm not hopeful for it, to be honest. Um, but I can say at least they identified two people who something needed to give, something needed to change. So that's <clears throat> what I've got to say about Furia. It was a lot, actually. Just that little bit. Um, I just don't want to miss anything. Oh yeah, uh, Launder's Land is coming up this week. Let's go, so Launder's Land. Probably at this point in the video have been blinded by my jury. All right, but in in a week's time you can be blinded by it in real life. Come to Launder's Land if you're in Toronto. This is genuine, by the way, no trolling. Let's go. Set your tickets for sale. We sold out hundreds and hundreds of tickets. There's only a few left. If you're in Toronto, you want to take a short flight or even a long flight, come on down to Toronto, the warehouse of Downsview Park. Um, spectator passes. There's going to be a taking a long camp. flight. Catering all day long. There's going to be melee setups. We're going to have chess candidates on TV. We're going to have 32 teams there playing. We're going to have the whole thing fully produced. We're gonna Wait, melee play. setups? I need to bring my controller. I need to bring my controller. I gotta get my. I gotta dust off the GameCube. Be there. Connor's go, Scrawny's gonna be there. Darth Mike is gonna be there. Van Let's Seal's go. gonna be there. Everyone's coming down. We might even Let's have another go. special guest coming to Toronto. That's this weekend. This land is gonna be massive. It's one of the biggest Canadian lands ever on a on a local level, and uh, non BYOC like this has everything. So uh, if you are just hearing about this, you're around Toronto. It's this weekend. Come through, buy a ticket. I'll leave the link in a pinned comment on this video. Okay, so let's keep going a little bit because we've got some more news to get through. Also, um, tomorrow, before I forget, uh, it, I haven't even I haven't read this yet. Okay, I want to read your off. VP Electronic. T I want to hear this part. Virtus Pro Sign Electronic. <laughs> Excuse me. They signed a what? They signed a who to what now? Oh, shit. Virtus Pro have replaced Mir with Electronic. What does this mean? Super Virtus team. Pro Super team. Have replaced their weakest Super team. very awkward positions in Mir. And if you guys remember from Tier 2. Super team. <laughs> not on Virtus Pro. He's been terrible. Awkward, at least. I mean, maybe not terrible. He's been awkard. He's awkward. He's been awkward. Very critical of it. Well put. Opinion, they replaced their weakest player in Mir. It, it once was Norbert. It's no longer Norbert. He's improved so much in the CS2. And signed Electronic, one of the strongest right players in history. Super uh, team. Who was also a star for Cloud9. Which actually means that Cloud9... Uh, this actually means that Cloud9 are withdrawing from Pro League. Which, in my opinion... I, there's some rumors about them trying to buy Monacy. They probably couldn't pull it off. You know, G2 probably make you literally take your kidney out of your body. Super team. In order to pay for Monacy. And then just tell you no afterwards. And say, I'll only do it if you trust me. And then get you to literally do surgery on yourself and pull your kidney out in your hand. And it's like fucking beating right there. Kidneys do they beat. And you're just like, okay, okay give me Monacy. And they go, <laughs> just kidding. Like, that's how much of a stranglehold I think they have on Monacy right now. I don't know what the deal is. But even a super like Cloud9 can't seem to buy him. So it looks like they've actually withdrawn from ESL Pro League Season 19. I don't know what the real story is. You didn't say super team. All kinds of rumors. And fraudulent. Fair, dude. I mean, no, I want everyone else to be fair. Wait, okay? do you say it here? But they did just make the majors, so like, surely uh, they got a lot of money. You know what I mean? They got a lot of money. And they will still be rolling in as well in the, in the coming months. Super team. Um, so yeah, they're playing with, I think they're playing with Kai here, yeah, in place of Art um, at Get Rio. So we'll get to have a you know early judgment call about how good they are. And uh, Electronic on Virtus Pro. This is pretty sick. I mean, like this team is insane, right? Like you do have a. It's a it's like almost I, like I think Fame's not as good as we saw. Almost like you call it a, a super that's, team. That's fair enough. Um, but we know he can be very good. I think this fame is extremely promising still. And I think he has more to show. I think Norbert is still inconsistent, but he is still actually so improved. When he got removed from the team, they told him, here's what you need to change in order to come back on the team. Then he changed it and he came back in. That was insane because it actually worked. It lit a fire under his ass. He figured out his anchor rolls a lot better. He was one of the worst. Just so it's like, just so we get the super team stuff out of the way, as I will, as I will force it down your throats. Um, Robbie 101 just subscribed. Robbie, thank you for the, thank you, Robbie. You're my new best friend. Um, the only reason Flit and James didn't make top 20 last year is because they didn't have enough maps. That's the only reason, uh, just so that's clear. Um, if they had more maps against top uh, at lands, 
because they're not a part they weren't a partner team uh they would have been both top 20 they were both by rating by like rating if you look at lan top 20 for last year they were both very good they were both very good here just 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 i know it's not just rating i know it ain't just rating but let's just do this if you do lan they just don't even pop up because you have to slide this baby down a little bit and then oh look at that look at jame look at jame in 2020 uh look at jame in 2023 oh look at flit in uh 2023 right there this is a super team the only reason they're not they're, they're not considered a super team is because they didn't get HLTV top 20s because they had 74 maps. They had 70 they didn't have enough maps. They didn't play enough good tournaments. They're not partnered. Norbert would be part of a CIS super team. He's better Look at okay, how are you going to tell me Norbert is not a super team player when he is literally in the last 6 months the best rated player on Overpass? He is the highest rated player on Overpass in the last six months. He is a super, this is a super team. This is a super team. Last six months, top rated player, top 20 LAN, Overpass. Norbert is the highest rated player. He is a B anchor and he's a B lurker. This is a fucking super team. This is a super team. Flit is the is the top five highest rated player of the last six months. Top twenty, super team. Norbert is right there. Super team. Jame would have been HLTV top twenty last year if they just played more lands. Super team. Super team. It's a super team. Oh yeah, I turned my mic volume up because Thorin. We were using Discord and Thorin was like, "It's not quiet. It's not. It's too loud. It's not quiet enough, or it's too loud." Okay, let me uh. Here, let me fix that. Let me fix that for y'all. Uh, oh yeah, it is. It is louder. Okay, that should be my more normal volume. I think that that's more of my normal volume. Okay. I I present multiple examples of why this is a super team, and now we have to invoke appeal to authority. I just talked to Thorin about this. He thinks it's a super team, also pretty clearly, pretty clearly a super team. So, on the appeal to authority of Mr. of Mr. Regimented Logic rules everything around me, Lurim. Literally, they have- they're major winners! <laughs> they're all major winners! Dude, if we want to use the ring argument, if we want to use the ring argument that this is- this is pure- like, ring argument works out beautifully for that. It's four major winners, Losing the one player that wasn't a major winner, getting somebody that was the right hand man on a major winning roster, and they it's five major winners. It's five major winners together, two of which should have been HLTV top 20 last year in Flit and Jame, but they didn't play enough lands. It's it's a huge blockbuster signing in Electronic. Like he was the best player on Cloud9. He was the best player on Cloud9. Okay, so then, so Sphinx wouldn't be part of any super team then by that, the that, because it's a it's a it's a Mickey Mouse. It was a Mickey Mouse major. Mickey Mouse. I mean, VP's run at the at their major was more impressive than Vitality's at their major. Way better. It doesn't even matter if we it, like. Also, super team is just. It's it's more just like there's a set criteria for me, and it satisfies that. It's not like, it's it's. I don't use like nebulous feelings off of off of discussing a super team i just am like okay you have multiple players that are top 20 you have a guy you have an overqualified literally it's almost like norbert's not even a role player he's just the best overpass player in the world he's just the best overpass player okay let's i'm gonna keep moving through this first inferno pit anchors i've ever seen and he won the major and it was a big meme norbert won a major you know but he got, he got his stuff together. And then you have Flit and you have Jame. And I think Electronic Jame, you know, it's not simple electronic maybe, but it's still extremely compelling. And uh, Jame's another one of those endurance athletes in the tier one. He is uh, he is a force to be reckoned with. He's, don't let him in playoffs, Jame, okay? NVIDIA Jame. You need NVIDIA to stop him. You need a multi-trillion dollar tech company to stop Jame. That's the only <laughs> way. So now that he's got the help of Electronic, this team is fucking awesome. And this is one of the biggest purchases, the, probably the biggest purchase that Virtus Pro have ever made. And this is... Buyout. We're talking buyout. We're talking buyout. This is the biggest purchase that VP has ever made. 
buyout. If you want to talk about, if you want to bring a buyout as a criteria, you just you just mentioned it's the biggest buyout. The sort of believing in Jame, I think, to give him a chance. No, I think I have a feeling that Jame also probably picked players that he could develop, so he didn't pick season. Super team buyout. Valuable. I bet he did that on purpose. I don't I usually invoke buyout, but you have in um, your definition. But I think maybe it is time for for someone like this to come in. I, I'm really excited about this. I mean, I mean, how can you not be? This is clearly an upgrade to Mir. This should be a really. I mean, this could definitely take him over to winning tournaments. This makes Virtus Pro a serious, crazy threat, and they're going to be fun to watch. I mean, people hate definitely hate watching Virtus Pro. I'm not six months. Us, but, um, I think it's six months. Way more palatable than in CS1. CS1. Six oh, months of stats. Oh, man, we couldn't break the smokes open. These boys, they were waiting until the end of the fucking day to get into the site, man. It was hard to watch, for sure. Um, and they Six months, it's not three months of stats. It's, first of all, six months, and they got all got rings. They got all got rings. They all got rings right there. Ring argument. They'll try to do that. There's just less rounds to play with. There's, they got uh, the hardware. They're major winners. Uh, definitely more fun overall. So, I don't know. I'm pretty freaking friggin hyped for this. this should be Count awesome. condition uh, awesome zero rings. <laughs> The lack of scripting tools available in CS2 oh, yeah. that, uh, is causing for... I'm glad Robs brings this up. That's causing problems. I'm glad Robs brings this up. I actually pay 1.3, but um, I think that's the sad part about CS2 right now. I don't think there's proper support for Daisy. I think buying out is dead. In the current state of the oh. game, yeah, well, kind of ruined that, but it is what it is. Hey, th this is my video. What the fuck? I literally posted this video. This is my iPhone. Look, Bell Canada. Right, I can't even see it. They posted my... I just didn't even realize this, dude. They literally posted my freaking video. Um, <laughs> what are you trying to show? I'm, I'm watching somebody else's... Video they post on Reddit is recorded from my phone, my iPhone. Someone write, charge your phone if you're still at this point of the video. Okay, there's going to be some more news. I'm going to take it slow because there's a lot to go into. Um, this is going to be news. Post-major roster shuffle beginning. You guys thought I was gone. I'm back. I hope I blind you with my jewelry. Okay. I hate this new Console YouTube layout so much. I hate this YouTube layout way, dude. It's like it's like I'm a little hunter gatherer foraging for berries, and I'm looking down at my feet, and I'm just seeing different colored berries on the ground, and it's like, oh, what video am I supposed to click next or whatever, dude? I hate, I hate this layout so much. I want to read comments. I literally would rather read co more comments. No, this is YouTube updated maybe three days ago, and it's just given me this really, really annoying layout that I just, I can't really do anything about it. Like, I can't, I can't, like, it's just stuck for me. I, I tried looking on Reddit for ways to fix this, but if YouTube Reddit is as smart as Global Offensive Reddit, I might have been looking in the wrong subreddit or part of the internet. Yeah. Oh, it's so annoying. YouTube, get, I have to get a thing. It's so bad. It's so bad. Um, uh, for people that are watching on YouTube, you're the bravest soldiers right now. Uh, to pretty pink bows, hello. Hi. Uh, what else? Um, you could filter with ad block. Okay, what else? Uh, YouTube loves effing up their layout. What browser? This is brave. I will dox YouTube. Okay, I'm going to keep moving on. Okay, so this is released like way late. This this complexity Copenhagen major, major recap. It has 99 views on the official complexity. It has 99 views on the official complexity Counter-Strike YouTube channel. Uh, so I feel bad. I, I, I literally am watching this out of pity. I'm actually watching this video out of pity. Hello, esports fans, and welcome to glorious Copenhagen. So. That's where we are for the inaugural Counter-Strike 2 Major. Going to this game, this is going to have some fucking fun. Alright? Like John also always says, it's just another game. We treat it the same way. We've been grinding hard. Now let's go get a reward from it. I think desire is one of the strongest words in the world. Ask yourself while you're waiting for this match and for the rest of the week, how bad do you want? Because I promise you some of the people you're playing from different regions of the world, they want it really, really fucking bad. I'm going to just say, I'm going to just say before I really get into watching this, I, I love everything Jason Lake does because it's not a bit. It is like... Like, the thing about Jason Lake that I truly, truly appreciate is that nothing he says is done with an ounce of uh, self-awareness. And it's just, it's just flat out pure unbridled emotion. And he's just, like, he's literally the definition of locked in. 
He is so locked in all the time and nothing there's not an ounce of sarcasm, not an ounce of irony in anything, but you almost would like doing a parody of Jason Lake would be so easy. <laughs> doing a parody Okay, so this scene, here, this scene. Now let's go get a reward from it. I think desire is one of the strongest words in the world. Ask yourself while you wait for this match and for the rest of the week, how bad do you want? Because I promise you some of the people you're playing from different regions of the world, they want it really, really fucking bad. Okay, is my, my, my volume still messed up? Okay, it's still it's still loud because of... Or, oh, I, I see that comment. I see that here. Okay. All right. I brought it down to, I think, the normal levels. I forgot what it you was before Thorin told me he wanted me to increase it. So, it's very meta. Bullseye pushes in towards middle, expecting maybe, the secondary maybe player better. as well. I'd be right in thinking so as an early five on yeah. two Anders. He definitely grew up watching things like Friday Night Lights. Oh, no, it landed up there. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. It failed. It landed in that little. The video's window. volume is low. And wow. Bullseye continuing. His domination from the end of the first half. Could be a good position if the rest of his team could even stay alive at this point, which doesn't really look like. Because here I had one flashbang, that's about what they had, and he didn't even get a chance to really do much with it. They are just getting steamrolled at the bomb side. To be execution, Anders. Yeah. Listen to defend. Can he find the opening frag? He mm. certainly can before. Oh my god, is Nissim a fraud? This is pretty good. He only got a single Again, kill versus Ecos. Nissim's a fraud. One more time. This time, a lightning fast bomb plant. In gaming, if you lose this round, that, that's going to be really upsetting. Just up against some forced pistols here in an AK. Oh it's Beagles here with a good kill. Grim, they'll take one in return. They're gonna need more. Whole circ, easy shutdown. Back in two. Another two versus two. Grim is good for it. He gets that one, and they will finish off the round. Ooh. Complexity on 11. They steal one back that they should have had no business winning. Well, they have to try and do a Beagle series here. He swings, but traded immediately. Huge double kill for Grim, and, that's, and that could be map winning. That's two B players down. You know the side. Yeah, why the fuck did Complexity's editing team take so fucking long to release this shit, man? They're just literally cutting video footage from the official VOD. <laughs> this shit takes like an hour to make. <laughs> this is like the easiest edit job of all time. There's no graphics in this at all. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? They need to hire new people. That's a single title and a cut. Jason Lake made it. Oh. But I think we played really well so far. Uh, nothing really to say. For the next match, like we're not gonna have, we're probably not gonna have a lot of time to to do a lot of scrape. So we'll just make the most of the time we have. Let's make sure we're all just jumping into skybox, but also let's just make sure we're all focusing on ourselves and what we need to do on these games. Just make sure we're recapping the basics of, of what we need to do, whatever match we decide to go to. Till then, focus on what you can control. Yeah. Like I was saying a couple of you guys earlier, make sure your hydration's up, monitor like yeah. your caffeine intake, you don't want to get too much, like do the things you can control until then. Your eyes, your brain, your hands, like it all has to be working. So when you have these long days, really think about like, what am I taking in? Do I have enough water? Have I had too much caffeine? Have I not had enough caffeine? Like, make sure you're paying attention to all that stuff. It'll make a big difference. Going fresh. Jason locked in. What's up, guys? Yo. Jason locked the so F in. We're gonna be in. playing City Side Vertigo against Heroic. We expected this veto, and we've already just played it, so. We have good info on them. We did prep upstairs, so ready to go. What are we doing? Oh my god! No, no, just put them on. Put them on. I didn't really oh want to have them here. Put them on. Put them on. Put them on. Like, Jason no, Lipton. No oh, the the old them. ones. The classics. <laughs> Which is actually bad. The classic Yerzy. JT makes it look good. Wow. Floppy is cosplaying as a 2012 one uh, CS:GO player. Listen, there's zero extra pressure. This is just honoring the past. It's cool, man. It's cool. You guys can all over everything. It's all good. Have fun, okay? I want to see smiles and laughs. Grim goes to the pinky season. 
a sliver, a shadow. Oh, can he get any damage off? I don't know, but he knows that he can push through the smoke behind Jenny's clear. Sir, that's positioning. Wait a second. That's positioning on both Wait a second. I have to do something. I have to show something. Okay, we have to look at this photo, this this picture of them, or this this group up. Okay, Floppy's not in it. Compare it to this. Who's who? Who's who? Um, so I think I think Semphis is Halzerk. I think Semphis is Halzerk for sure. I think Grim is Hiko. Grim is Hiko. Uh, <laughs> nothing is a liege. Uh, Sean Garris is definitely JT. And then Brax is floppy. And Brax is floppy for sure. Yeah. Yeah, a liege has to be nothing for sure. Yeah, we got it. Hello, bro. Do you have feet cam? What the fuck kind of first message is that? I'm gonna give you a timeout. You can't. That can't be your first message, man. You can come back again tomorrow. I did a 24-hour ban on you. That's wild, man. That's a little wild. Try again. Try again tomorrow. See you. Mod him. <laughs> Listen, there's zero extra pressure. This is just Vouch. Fast. Vouch. It's cool, man. Yeah. It's cool. You guys get like all it. over everything. It's all good. Have fun, okay? I want to see smiles and laughs. Grim goes to the peak. He sees it. Jason Lake has definitely met a professional player in the club and got bottle service to try to secure a, a deal. Probably config. He gets the fight towards short, mm. shoot up, killing Zerk. Zerk. Next Zerk. Up with the answer, and Zerk was in it smoke, for this tournament. Frag from Hulzerk, not the only offer who can rifle. Oh, but they push elevator. He's done. Oh, okay. The nice. hell? Done. Hulzerk Nerds. thriving in the chaos and keeping majority alive. Doing? Complexity get corralled into this funnel of a fight in oh. from mid. Total stoppage unless Hulzerk can clutch it. And he's got this last one pinned behind box. He knows where you are, nerds. And Nertz holds, is waiting Nertz? for the swing. The close wow. approach is Zerk was so and in Zerk it. will make sure that doesn't slip through their uh, fingertips. Yeah. Oh. Another one Grim won't be proud of. JT <laughs> toppled after his one My boss nice requires me to record my feet to make sure I don't leave my desk. It's abnormal. Like no, it's, it's normal. Everybody talk it's normal. Said he feels no, it. No, no, no. And he nails it. Wow. That was like also like one of the best moments, paper. too. As the smoke comes down behind JT. Oh, he, he got it. Over to Shush of all people inside B. CT scramble out of spawn. Flashes Woo! in the sky. Oh. And it's a leash. The leash getting that second kill is one. wild. Now just two left. A late mid play. And Complexity who walked into Copenhagen. Oh. With question marks of what? And with exclamation. Grim, two kills from top mid. As Cole go 2-0. 2-0 for Complexity in this stage. Elise went insane. <laughs> he went insane. I was blind. I was swinging towards default. I started shooting at the left guy, Jen, and then spray spray on the guy on the right. While I was blind. Yeah, Wally was blind. <laughs> you gotta make sure you check out youtubecom JJ. Latest aim routine video is on there. Everything you want to know is on there. Make sure you check it out. Good casters wonder if they'll attend long as long. I'm not gonna lie. Compliment you guys on following the intelligent part of aggression. Locked in. There were so many times we're watching it, we're just like, don't peek, don't peek, don't. You guys made so many good decisions. You had patience like pros. You didn't get antsy, you didn't overpeak the wrong situation. Really proud of you. Really kick ass, and it's great to see the red and black uh, out yeah. taking down Titans again, boy. Seriously, and really, really good job. Us, yeah. Really good job. Go enjoy tonight, get some sleep, boys. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Oh, and it's like I thought I'd about to close it out, but unfortunately, with the overtime, and uh, uh, then we know what happens. Everyone had a bunch of huge step ups today. The Elise 3k with spray through fully blind on Spectana. I'm like, what in the world's going on now? I knew he probably went after that, <laughs> but we still got to dial it in. And um, 
I think everyone did a good job today. So my face when I'm Maui and say the most contrarian thing possible to gain attention because I'm not actually that knowledgeable at CS. I actually also looked up your your chat logs, and you the only other thing you've really said is that you thought I was on the Epstein logs. So you're confirmed. Today we'll be playing our two zero game at okay. the major. The boys have been playing really well so uh, far. We're playing against Mouse. The veto went as expected. We went with our comfort pickup overpass. They went for ancient as expected. This. And we'll be playing a, a, a third Vertigo. Both of us have been Smart. playing Vertigo in the base of one, so we figured that would be the third map. Oh, Jamie AU, who do you want? More stress than you guys, so. Have fun, guys. We got a little buffer, so you can go out there and have fun. This shows that, like, lose and go home. And Foggers? You play loose, play Who the hell is that? Game, dictate the pace, dictate the play style. Appreciate Who the hell is Foggers? Thanks for listening. Yeah. <laughs> is that a... Maybe they're onto something here. Dude, <laughs> what is this? All right, I'm downloading a demo. Exertion working in tandem to guarantee a place in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this guy re redeemed it for channel points for a, for a player analysis video this does not look like it's going to be a great time but uh who do you want to who do you upcoming up and coming 24 year old prodigy from australia his teammates are infamous aussies such as apoc dude your wombat void and kobe okay so what what do we <laughs> What are we, what, which, which of these demos do you want me to do? I'm going to probably, dude, they just lose. They lose to everybody. The last time they won was against Canon Event, or no, KZG. <clears throat> the last time we had a good rating, though, was against this. I mean, I could watch this FlyQuest one. This is probably actually going to be kind of interesting. How does this guy, how does this guy actually do well against FlyQuest? I could do that. Yo, he's got Kobe. <laughs> Yo, Kobe's back from the dead to play with Foggers. Yeah? Okay, I'll download this one. I'll download this one. All right, I'll put the other thing back on. Gentlemen, your first team to the Royal Arena is Mouse! Okay, I'm downloading it. So let's... Um... You don't have to film this part. Oh no. I want to see the bad with the good though. I saw all the good. I want to see the bad too. Come on. Today we're playing our 2 1 match here at the major after our loss yesterday against Mouse. We got matched up against Vitality. Uh, we just did the veto and the veto went as expected. They went with uh, their comfort pick of Inferno. Uh, we decided to change things up a little bit today to go for Vertigo, seeing that we've been having good results on it. And uh, as expected, we got a third map on Anubis. Uh, we're feeling comfortable and confident in the Vito. And uh, yeah, hoping we can show better form than yesterday. Why would we do Dexter to Cole? You guys know what you can do. Do your best in Inferno, don't sweat. It's fine. Take him out. You guys can beat him. Nice start from Halzerk. That one's gonna feel good, but the pressure's on. The chase is in. Oh, 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 oh. Halzer, making that P2000 work. Three players emerge from the smoke. The clock just can't find skincare. a home versus any of them, but it was still a nice recovery to get that bomb down. And Zai was alive. You already saw that one deagle, right? Okay, nice. Halzer, man. The Molly comes down. That'll get him out, but oh, he delivers. The headshot's clean. Okay, I, I kind of wanted to see. I, I know what happened in the game. I just want to see the reactions. At the start of today. Okay. Hang on, it's boys. Like we're playing really, really well. This is just the round where we're like being careful, whatever. Like not being careless, not getting injured, and not getting frustrated. Like we're not playing the fuck out of them. How many rounds did they win there? Where they had to like rely on individual brilliance, like Zayu getting three, Spinks getting three. It's like how many rounds? Do they, do they have like that, like we are, we are outplaying them by far, just like stay calm and so on, just keep listening to each other in those crucial moments, a little bit here towards the end, I feel like we had some opportunities where we have info we can cancel, but we but we kind of got into the mode where we kept proceeding, so don't be scared to call plans off and to change things, and again, that, like we said yesterday, keep listening. On the left is James IRL, he's their analyst, he uh, played at kind of the level that I played at in ESL Challenger League. And uh, he's he's done actually he did a couple uh, broadcasts for a while he did ESL Pro League a couple seasons and uh, him and I are pretty tight 
he's uh yeah he's a he's a good guy in terms of uh just like positivity um solid like solid work ethic um brings stuff to the table like if you want to get into specifics he's actually literally told me before how certain teams game planned and um like because people are always just i think people kind of just say the same things over and over again like they just are like oh he's got good work ethic like who the fuck doesn't have good work ethic that is like at this level period like if you're even if you're even in this arena you probably have good work ethic you know uh so or at this stage of the major but like it's it's that you know, I've picked his brain before on how certain teams play, what they sacrifice in order to have, like, their style. So ways you could maybe counter them based off of the styles that they play. Um, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, Boros, you're right. You're right, can't really fault you for that. In those crucial moments, a little bit here towards the end, I feel like we had some opportunities where we have info we can cancel, but we but we kind of got into the mode where we kept proceeding. So I would have said that the tier that James... That like so, I mean, I use the terms from, tier 1 and tier 2 a little loosely. Against them on yes. <laughs> where, like, if, if it was... If it was uh, for saying, what makes the difference between a player between your tier and James's tier and, like, tier 1 or tier 2? So... I mean, the the tier that James and I played at would be like, you know, making playoffs of ESL Challenger League, so the league beneath ESL Pro League. What what's the difference between that and ESL Pro League? I think at at the level you're you're just kind of missing some aspect for sure once you're at that sec tier two level is just what I would call it. Whereas tier one players are just like more well rounded. By that I mean one, the tier one players have better mechanics that's like but it's not a huge jump up in mechanics i would say most of the time if you are lacking mechanics okay that could be the thing holding you back <clears throat> but if it's more like it's more like is it reactions and macro understanding is it depth of game planning is it a micro understanding of your positions because say like say like when i watch demos today of a player playing a spot that i play or i did play well, they're going to have more tricks than me. They're going to know more fights than me. They're going to know that, oh, when they're crunched from this these certain angles, they have these specific reactions. And they also probably think about things to the level of timing a lot more too, where it's like, okay, at 55 seconds, I know that this area could be walked into on, say, nuke. And so I need to do this kind of rotation. Um, Oh, 16 we, literally did, oh. we literally did so many good things that map. We can, man, just we can finally change the TeamSpeak channel now to Vitality 1619. How many of these rounds would it take to shut Vitality down? Five to play with. And Elise saw you quad. Will not waste the moment. With Saiwoo down, the chances start to slip away. So two good players to have. We had a great clutch from Mezzi earlier on, but now he's down for the count and a struggling Sphinx in a 1v3. With all of Complexity charging at him, a third map needed. Complexity rebound, a sigh of relief. So, like, things that you would probably assume are, okay, well, let's just, I'll hear this. Dude, if you want to just come alive on map two and map three every single series, no one's going to say a word, John, okay? No one's going to say a word. Yeah, I just can not hit anything for some reason on first map. Yeah, but that's what it is. It doesn't matter. Just, just keep operating. No, so. Just keep playing the way you're playing. Like, you're clearly playing well, just keep doing it. Um, I'm gonna start like three towards B in the beginning of the half. We're not. I'm not playing for mid in the beginning. We'll shift towards mid after like the second gun round. Okay. 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 Well, you just yeah, just worry about the looks, but let's change from jail. Yeah. Just normal Anubis shit. Do your normal Anubis shit at the same so. level you've been playing the last two maps. Uh, this is a full pop coming into the site. They're trying to make it a fake, but it doesn't scare them. Just torn to pieces. Five sevens good from JT. Peak this is the saddest part of this whole Holter. game, by the way. Shot, the fact so they're up it. 6 to Your 1, CT side and Anubis. Six one lead. Oh my god, the bomb takes a really strange route, actually. Floppy gets one. He doesn't know if it's the player who is running away, but it is going towards the site that Complexity wanted to. One more chance for the North Americans to just scrape a 7th onto their side, spam through smoke. And the SMGs can't quite stop them. Here comes the AK, big chance for Floppy. Off the side of oh. Pillar, he gets two. But he Sick. finds himself 1v1 versus the best. Zywoo planting backside. Floppy swings oh, and catches him. Oh, no way. Yo. Close Floppy's corner held by Messi. Upshot lands. That should be the damage that gets this over. Elise oh, will go man. for the bomb plant. 
faking it once, trying to elicit a rotation. Sure enough, Zywu puts his head on a silver platter. Don't play with him. SMG and Deeg in hand, Spinks getting closer, Elise in the open, they chase him, his gun's out, they're right there on the angle, and Elise now down oh. to 80, thinks he's close, oh. SMG will thrive, Spinks makes sure there's no cracks in this hole, Zaiwu along the wall, JT keeps his head down, they are scared, and JT has been cleared, Holzerk in with a chance to clutch, snaps the shot up, oh. but misses critically, two clutches they could have both won, push them forward, Oh, man. Pain. Pain. Uh -huh. It was ours. It was. Like, we had him. Well, I told you the flop was kind of loud. You guys got to be exhausted, man. I'm exhausted from watching. Nothing bad to say whatsoever. You guys played fucking lights out. And uh, we didn't get a couple breaks. We made a couple mistakes, which is going to happen in hours of of play um you keep playing like that you're gonna have a really fucking ball year a lot of times with tough losses like we've had the last two days is when rosters start splintering and people start turning their backs on each other and then they change this guy they change that guy the in-game chemistry you guys have built is really starting to come out now you're on the verge of greatness i mean any idiot with it watching the stream could see that even if they barely know the game do whatever you feel is best to get ready for tomorrow we still got one more shot Yep. The long faces are understandable. I'm freaking bummed. But we're not out. I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but man. I love watching you play today. Yesterday was hard to watch. <laughs> today, y'all were balling out at Dome and Heads. Grim goes down with nothing. Rob's on the backstab, the bomb's being planted, uh, it's Wolzerk with the AWP, uh, it looks like FaZe have done more than enough here, the bullet connects, the wallbang will not, and Elise and Wolzerk have to go for this one, and an impossible scenario. We'll begin here, Rob's on the high ground, shooting Elise in the back, and Wolzerk, the last one left alone on the site, and goes down rain, rain, start another AK shot, echoes across the map, but there's no one to hear it, complexity are dead, and FaZe will survive. <sighs> Why did they have to play Maus, and Vitality, and FaZe, and every team that the world, right? made it to playoffs uh, so you, oh wait because they were 2-0 and about to make it to playoffs <laughs> I had a really good time being uh, yeah, here uh, with you guys for calling, Jason. yeah, yeah it's, for my, my, it's my pleasure and my honor it's tough to lose especially when you're up 2-0 and, oh, and and to lose to these teams it's a kick in the stomach but how you respond in life um to these things really defines you as a person we need to go back to the drawing board a little bit and uh Oh, he looks yeah, like he's thin. Work on he's thinner. Is it the lens or is our, did he our bottom thin? level and make Lose sure that it's uh, a lot, a lot higher? Still, yes, he also looks thinner. To take out of it as well. You know, we know we can compete. It's just about making sure that we uh, we can consistently compete every day, rather than uh, you know, some days we show up and some days we don't. Overall, I'm really proud and I'm really um, thankful for the opportunity to work with them, and I'm really thankful for all the awesome fans that are behind us um, through this journey. So. Mm. Until next time, J Lake out. J Lake out. Oh, crushing, crushing defeat at the major for complexity. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, note note, and I recapped in the podcast I did about um, that run that they had and how disappointing it was. I mean, the the main thing with this was that it was the matches for like the vitality one was clearly the most winnable. And we saw, I like, what was so disappointing about, well, what was weird about all these maps is that I think they started with a, something like a 5-0 start on Inferno, or maybe a 4-0 on Inferno, 5-0 on Vertigo, 6-0 on Anubis. I think they were up on all three of these maps. Let's see. Oh, they were up actually 6-0 on Inferno, something like that. 5-0 on Vertigo and 4-0. Okay, I reversed it, actually. I reversed it. But it was 6-1 at one point on Anubis. It was 6-0, 7-2. It was even 9-5. It was even 12-9 on Inferno. Oh, this was so bad. This was so bad. Uh, it was just so disappointing. Uh, 
because if they won that, I mean, they were clearly the better team on Vertigo. And then even on Anubis, pff, oh, oh, 6 1 CT. 6 1 CT. Say it ain't so. Yeah, just crazy. Just crazy disappointing there for them. Uh, and Halzerk bald. I mean, I, I see some people in chat saying stuff like, you know, kick Halzerk or whatever. Guys, I want to remind you, uh, I did the whole opera tier list in tier 1 CS. Let me, let me bring that back up. I actually, let me, let me, uh, I have the, I have my own VOD, and so I could show you that. And uh, so I have the entire VOD for Tier 1 Oppers, which I put together with a few other people. And this is where it basically ended, by the way. Like, this is pretty much the end of the VOD, and this is where I would put these Oppers. Wait, why is Glaive on? The oh, that's my Opera tier. That's my IGL tier list. So this was before Chengdu, and I... Would swap a couple things around lightly here. I would move device up just a tad. I would uh, have to move Cadian to the top, to the bottom of D tier as, as of now. But for 2024 Opera tier list, I still stand by the vast majority of this. Uh, in fact, it's maybe even safe to say, like, it almost, it actually almost, I would want to put Brokey in an A plus tier by himself and move Shiro to A tier, but it's just like Spirit aren't playing enough, really. I still would, I still would want to, I still would want to not have Brokey in the same tier as Monacy, but I know some, for lack of a better word, for some like casuals that are going to be like, but Brokey has an MVP this year and Monacy has zero, and it's like, Dude, Monacy, if Monacy even made it to the Grand Finals of any of the tournaments he played at, he would have been MVP whether his team won or lost. Wonderful to A-plus tier? No. No, 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 no. Current form, current form. This is 2024 form. Uh, so, so I, I still, like, basically, to get back to the initial conversation here, Halzerk being in the B-plus tier for oppers as an opper, a pure opper, and, and I gave them some points for rifle ability, but not not many points for pure rifle ability. Holzerk, there's not many people better than him. Like, there's really not many be people better than him than Holzerk. Like, who who are you gonna, who are you actually gonna sign that you think is a surefire way to get an improvement over Holzerk right now? Deco, that's like the most unproven thing. That's totally mega unproven. That's just like... That's like, let's just sign Wrinkle at that point, you know? Yeah, and what, which is why Deco is at the top of B tier for playing zero lands. Yeah. <clears throat> Aurora are a tier one team, that's cap. Yeah, this was pre Chengdu post major also. Well, I yeah, if anything, I actually kind of agree with uh with Munster to improve complexity, I'd probably have to change a rifler. Yeah, unfortunately that's kind of the that's kind of the truth about this. You have and the thing is you can afford to, in a way. You could you could if you want to, if you really wanted to do anything about complexity, you have three North Americans right now. You have three Americas, you have one South African who would qualify for like the APAC. APAC uh, RMR, and then you have only one European. And so if you were to do anything, you would probably say you'd have to look at Grim and uh, Floppy and say, what sort of rifler would you put in for either of them? So, okay, because everybody keeps asking without actually thinking or like without listening. Device and this tier list was made pre Chengdu for 2024. Device was fucking bad device was terrible device was really bad at the rmr and everything else guys like there wasn't a lot in 2024 so there wasn't a lot to put him there um so where where are we i would put dexter in a plus he's literally not played in 2024 chat in d tier the fourth guy was um uh, when would you put when pro when pro rate? No, I know you guys saying so sad compared to how he's playing twenty three. Lamal Floppy's unreliable. 
I mean, Floppy and Grim both kind of take turns being a little bit unreliable. The way I see it, signing a Leech is a move you make if you want your team to be a playoff te level team minimum. And unfortunately, to do that, they probably need to switch out one, either Floppy or Grim. Yeah, it does kind of suck. Rifle tierless win? <clears throat> uh, soon. Soon, 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 soon. Uh, Nock was also shocking at the major. Crazy has Kurula soon. Even off there. Uh... Excited to see complexity. I am Dallas, but if they don't go to playoffs, at least they got to swap a rifler, and there are for sure options. Yeah, it kind of feels like that. Um, surprised no one picked up SDY. I think it's because people still remember what he was like in Navi, which obviously isn't a full um, representation of his ability. But okay, I wanted to watch. I had this up, but I think this is a little long. Um, I kind of was interested in this. Uh, Savage like went to Europe and then Sprout. It's like, I, this guy was on that Rooster team. No, he wasn't on Rooster. He was on uh, the other team. It was like a gold logo Australian team. He basically was on some Australian team that was maybe the second best. Uh, LF, he was on LFO. He was on LFO, but then LFO got picked up by some, was it a cryptocurrency or something? Encore, Encore, right, right, right. It was Encore. And then he was on th that team for a minute, and then he joined Sprout. Had a lot of space, then I can't get anything too big right now. So, so in train station. I just walk into I don't I don't really need to see the stuff of him hanging out in Europe. I just wanted to see his reaction to the team ending. So where is that? I think it's maybe here. Do you have anything? Anything right? I'm videoing right now. What do you right have now. to say, Milet? I have to say that uh Miha is a very good in the night. Milet. Maybe don't put it in uh, your um, this is how, this is the proper way to... Um, so they're still playing? When's the part where you get... Tough times create a tough man. Oh. Setups. Oh, okay, I think it's here. I think. Is you it this? This is where I'm sit, and where I'm getting these players. And this is the biggest army in my team. Guys, this is last time seeing us. Oh, last time. It was very unlucky. Oh. But life moves on. That's, that Kobe Bryant says, so we need to fucking... Listen to him. Peace L out. Like Kobe Bryant. <laughs> it was a good aim. We we'll learn a lot. But you know what they said? Tough times create a tough man. This guy is tough. Look at his face. Zestia's position. I'll look at EPL group also. I, I have a. Yeah, because that got released. I have one my diet. Dude, no wonder they're not good. They're all drinking beer and... I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah? I'm just joking. You just show professional players doing anything leisurely and everybody's like, these these guys aren't working hard enough. They're not working hard enough. They're out for drinks. Yeah, no. Every, remember that time in chat, if anybody was here, where the people were like, those lazy Americans. <laughs> those lazy Americans. Those lazy Americans. everyone i'm uh just in london right now uh the boot camp as you might know finished up a bit early so oh, okay yeah i i decided to Thoughts. have a night in london just to think about what i'm going to do and, and the op my options kind of what to do in the future hey i used to live and, over uh, here so i used to live right to his left i used to live to his left i think he's on the is he on the which, which bridge is he on is he on vauxhall bridge is he on vauxhall bridge I used to live behind him to the left over there. It's in London right now. Uh, the boot camp, as you might know, finished up a bit early, so... Burgers. Yeah, I, I decided to, to have a night in London just to think about what I'm going to do and, and the op my options, kind of what to do in the future. And uh, so, it's kind of here. I'm, just on, I'm, I'm staying right near the London Bridge, so I'm right here now. You can see it behind the bridge there. That's the Tower Bridge. And, um, Common misconception. Man, it's, uh, it's been it's been a crazy kind of few months. It's been a crazy few years of my life, to be honest. And things change, you know. You move to Europe, and then the sprout dies. I, I guess I guess you know shit happens. And you know, I, was, I, I put a tweet on on Twitter uh, replying to someone. Someone was saying like how it's how it sucks for me and all that kind of stuff. And obviously it's rough, but man, I was I was telling my coach this is kind of like the flavor of life. You know, like, it's kind of, 
it gives you it gives you strength. I feel like when, when these think kind of things happen, I feel like I feel like this is if bad things didn't happen, it just yeah, I'll repeat that. I feel like if if things I feel like if bad things didn't happen, they would like if everything good just happened all the time, it would just be life would just be nothing. It wouldn't wouldn't be worth anything. So. You know, every single time that something like this has happened in my life, I feel like it's, there's, there's always been a, a positive outcome from it, and there's always been something like so great from it. I, I don't know how it keeps happening. Just stuff, something really terrible will happen, and then something will always happen after. You know, with Gigi How uh, didn't work out, obviously, and then this happened, and then you know, hopefully some some other things happening in the future. So I just put put like a holding deposit down on a, on a house to rent. So I've got to work out if I'm if I'm gonna get that to let them know soon. I've I have a few meetings tomorrow with with uh with some teams. So you know we'll we'll work it out. Just just enjoying London. A little bit rainy, a little bit cold, but you know I'm just gonna go walk around. Okay, okay, think okay. Think about I'll what watch, I. I watch bleed. I watch bleed. And, you know. I watch bleed. Life's life's hard, but I there's this part of me that really enjoys it, man. Like even when like I. Although it sounds weird, but I was, I was almost smiling when this happened. I, I mean, it sounds weird, but it, it was kind of, maybe it was more. Um, okay, we're watching Bleed. We're watching Bleed illegally right now. We're illegally watching Bleed <laughs> for a split second here. We're going to watch Bleed for like the, the most, on, on Albi 1985 stream, because I will tell you, Albi will not sue me. There is no way Albi is gonna sue me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna actually. I'm not gonna do it full screen, so I have something here. But okay, I'll watch it here. I'll watch it here. I'll watch it like this. Wait, I think Bleed's gonna win. I think Bleed. Uh, they're gonna win three in a row on OT. What the? Why, why did I get this lag? They're gonna beat Koi. They're gonna be yo. If they beat Koi, that ain't bad. Snitching in Albi's chat right now. How did he get permissions to stream this? By the way, I actually tried following them. I tried. I tried. Okay, I need to find a way to contact Grid, because I need to find a way to watch these. Because how did they get these? Do they have a? I need to find a way to contact them. He won't sue, trust me. Did I watch map one? No, I didn't see anything. Why is the quality so bad here too? Okay, here. Okay, we're, we're, we're back. Okay, we're gonna see if bleed win. He won't, saying that he won't sue, trust me, is wild. Oh, oh, you will threaten I'll be mafia style. Okay, that's how you're gonna make sure he doesn't sue me. Great. Okay. Um. Bleed are the goats. They're the goats of this stream. They're definitely the goats of this stream. Do we endorse all of Albi's positions? He can't sue us. You don't condone that, surely? I'm just reading chat. I'm not condoning or anything. I'm not... I'm definitely not condoning any behaviors. I'm just, I'm just reading what you guys are saying. Bleed is top 15. The Maui Bleed streams. Cirque over Kading is crazy, by the way. At the time, he was. Time, he definitely was. When are they picking up Diha for, for who? For Cipher? Just is not strong enough to carry the rest of Koi this map. What about Mopaz? Oh, is just going. Just is going crazy, right? Kassad says Cirque is back, so Cirque is back. You condone culture, Zywood cultural impact doubters, though. Smh, Smh. Okay, wait a second. <gasps> yes! Yes, bleed. Yes. Yes. 5v4. Come on. Come on, put it together. Come on, put it together, fellas. Come on. The more you win, the more Kassad can do podcasts because he's happy. I am doing this on Maui's orders, bringing me cash. Cypher has his confidence back in... I'm Giga here for it. 
Okay, a little reaggress here from Mopaz. This is kind of... Dude, Mopaz is 6 and 17. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. What? Yo, how does he not kill Hampus? Yo, just is... He's done enough. He's done enough. There's not even hitting any shots. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. None of them can hit a shot. Oh, my God. Koi just collapsed. Oh, my God. Cypher, please. Just throw the nade and don't wide swing. For the love of God. He's going to swing. He had to swing into the angle a little bit there. He couldn't just play behind a, a wall and play a crossfire. He is, he is literally allergic to crossfires. Cypher is like, I cannot hold a crossfire no matter what. LMS. Okay. All right, full screening it. I don't, I don't mind. Oh my god. Yo, where's the cams? Where's the cam? I need the reaction cam. Okay, cool. Bleed did it. Bleed did it. Let's go bleed. Cool with you. UI going 3v. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Can we rename Newbox to NVIDIA? <laughs> That's not bad. So, um, what was else we going to do? Uh, I was going to watch Elysia's thing. I think there was another video people wanted me to watch. Oh my god, Magno Jazz. Yo, is Betboom back? Is Betboom... Is Betboom... They're 6 and 7, and that guy had the most clutches of anybody. They're losing everything. They lost everything, and that guy... These guys are on top of the scoreboard. We got Siren for most total headshots, and most clutches. Oh, it's just they played a lot. Total op kill. It's total kills. Stiko video? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, Stiko YouTube. This one? Okay. Our journey to major starts here. Opening game at RMR against OG. I prepared an exclusive look into my thought process during the game, sprinkled with voice comms of the whole team. I hope you'll enjoy the video. So we pulled a little unconventional piss around. B executed with a twist that we had leave A site and triple wall cave instead. We had a good success with this strategy to practice, but OG played good and aggressive retake and pushed down B ramp. This made me throw my molly prematurely as it put me under pressure because we lost information whether the CDs are defusing or not. In hindsight, I could have just played safe behind the box waiting for my teammates to flank cave, but in the heat of the moment, I slightly panicked and decided to reveal my position. Fire V4 second round, where me and Sense faked A rush in order to pull a rotation and allow us to contest B. But as we were doing a fake, something fell off. We were not seeing anyone from OG playing on A side, and we made a great call to not commit on B before we get some trade frags going over at A. In the end, I forced a duel on Heavy God and also got Nexus off guard. And this round told us the contest how we should play the rest of the game. Stiko single-handedly cracking open this round. Have a listen how we managed to communicate this fake of the fly. What did you call it? Who is my Martin? Yeah. Oh, I think they're down. They did so much utility. Yeah. But I didn't hear anything. Except. Good. Okay. Yes, we don't see anyone. I'm pushing just side. Play, just play, guys. Just chill. Yes, we are playing. Play together. Really smoked us. Yes, we have A side. Yeah. Should we go back, boys? Just play together, yeah, play you... together there. Yeah. I'm, you... I'm holding it on. Can you freeze today? I'm holding Brokey, yeah. yes, we can. Taking City on you, Martin. Yeah. We're we'll going to really able to do anything. Yeah, do it. Could be behind in time, I shake it, Nala. Do it. Do not do Martin. Should we go back, eh? One pull, one pull. Oh, okay. You can, you can. Look at that. Nice. nice, Martin. I still I have Vegas. One heaven, Kev. Heaven. Yes. Kev one. Did they see you? No. No, no, I will go into window. We're still chilling okay. on A. Okay, one. Still cave. <laughs> you went yeah, back let's go, Aiden. I'm we're coming, Aiden. Yeah, just come, come, come. Nice, guys! Nice, nice, guys. Guys. nice come round, guys. Nice. Very important. Sick. Let's, let's go. go. I feel like, oh. Guys, guys, I feel like these guys were so like, try hard on like, anti strat. They knew we were yeah, gonna yeah. go. They didn't even rotate. it. They clearly prepared for us on Ancient. They know what we're doing. And they are heavily anti stratting to the point where it looks weird from our point of view. This little hint will play a role throughout the whole match as we keep tweaking our tactics to make them unpredictable and uncomfortable. Unpredictable Apex tactics. Oh. After exchanging a couple of rounds early, we found ourselves in bad scenario. 
Early into the round, we are two men down after Sasanito and Sans fall during our default. We need to create a backup plan to redeem the round and I have one in mind. Credit here goes to our analytics staff and coach who spotted that whenever Regali plays open A, he loves this position. <laughs> two During the round, I came to a conclusion that Regali can afford AWP and he should be holding A because Kito and Fiku got kill and assist each on the first kill towards B, while Nexus got a second kill with M4A4. <laughs> and I also heard I have D default on our default and he's, he's running into B by himself. <laughs> oh, no, they're dying in our default and it's like brother you are in the bomb side <laughs> seven spamming mid smoke so that could only mean that heavy goat usual a player is middle <laughs> this puzzle leaves regardless holding a with open and listen to the comments how i set up this little play that turns the it's a lot of pressure in that default flash heaven i'm assuming that they will go back but yeah, that, but we will just go for duels listen I think he will play open A. Yod, I'll come. I want you to flash over, okay? A. Yeah, yeah, I will do it. But come inside A min and we will flash through this gap. This I'll, try to, I'll try to pre fire him in this angle that he yeah. plays. Should I come A as well? You want? No, no, no. You can stay. Oh, they actually. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Kinda cool. He, I mean, they just tell it. They knew exactly what he was likely to do. Nice. Cool. A pair alive. Because we don't I will try to pick a op and play with it. Get out, play. Smoke like a short shot. Martin, pair alive. We have to go. Can you go for me? Yes. Wait, I'm trying to smoke long. One CT. Careful through the smokes. I'm planting. Nice, I think. Oh, okay, just get some. Nice! Let's A pair. I am in the noob corner, Tim. Banana. Coming late. No, he's running. Running away? Go for it. No, no, close. Not using. I'm playing. Tapped it. Off, 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 off. Play, boys. No chance. Nice! Yes. NT heavy oh, god, NT heavy god. The flash from JCam was a little short and Regali was in <laughs> fact not blind, but I still believe that this piece of information and the way I used it won us this extremely tough round and swung the odds back into our favor. After this moment, we drop only one round in the first half, effectively running over OG and making sure they don't build any economy. The rest of the half was not really eventful for me personally, so we move on to CT side. I still believe we're Actually, going to before we move on to CT side, I want to kindly ask for a little favor. Hit that subscribe and like. It will help my channel grow and make even more and better videos in the future. I promise I will deliver. So now we move on to CT side. Based around works almost flawlessly. Even after a little hiccup in cave with Zeus, we managed to clean up the round on B side. What is important is that Ochi did not manage to plan the C4, so we can expect full eco next round. As for oh, you're right, I do need to be paid to watch Apex play, but when it's a so when it's a video like time, this so of a breakdown, it's a little bit more. Hey, Milk found up so much money with three SMG kills, so I guess that was all part of the plan, right? Unfortunately, the MP9 ditched them out. Our B aggression early did not net us any advantage, so towards the end of the round, we are in disadvantages. B retake. <laughs> this is our retaking we call to do astrology safe. If Why do you like dislike Apex so much? I mean, I could just go back to that round of just showing that their default involves a guy running into B by himself. If you watched my previous video from the game against Furia, you already know what this is, so I suggest you check it out here. Here it works to perfection, and we kill every single remaining T, and even though they won the round, they will have to reinvest they so much money. They just don't have trade. And advantage next round. They're, like, running out by themselves. With huge bomb radius, like Ancient or Infer. For the rest of the hall, Jacob did some magical shooting as he farmed, like, nine kills in two rounds, and we found ourselves at match point. Their IGL is sense, but from everything I've heard in this video, Sneeko seems way better. OG are constantly hitting that E bomb side, which allows me to take a little bit more advanced position in A main, especially with AK. What was that this sound? To take a little What's bit more sound? advanced position in A main, especially with AK. This enables my late round flank dash, like which I use in this round, and I run all the way through T spawn. When Jacob dies, I'm in a 1v2 scenario. I know Heavy Goat has a C4, and if I manage to catch him in the back, I can easily hold the bomb. This is where I decide to run and make audible steps, but I don't see Heavy God anywhere. He just passes the corner and I saw a few pixels of his elbow running up ramp to B. I know that the distance between us was small enough that he heard this audible that I made and there is no point for me to walk anymore because they know my position. I decided to try my luck and then I boom plan with quick molly lineup in order to buy me more time to rotate through cave. But they plan safe behind default. This gives me clue that at least one of them will play after plan from backlines on B, while the other one will try to stay closer to C4 in case I attempt any smoke defuse. 
I won a duel in Cave, and my team gave me information. Oh yeah, that uh, my name well, is e Tito. Now I know yes, I have to yes. gamble. If you, if you today, have someone so that I can get co-streaming from, I try to clear a lock. I did not get a yeah, kill. Be super I'm hoping that Regalia plays somewhere I would definitely around short or games. backline. I am basically laser focused on just that spot because the way bomb is planted, and the way I cleared long with my HE. I'll change In my follower thing to five minutes. Me and I win the duel, and that is how our RMR journey started with a swift. And comfortable, 13-5 against OG. Followers. I don't like. I don't like it being zero. Thanks for responding. Oh boy! Though. Oh boy! That's the way the cookie crumbles at the end there. Apex. Okay, Stryan on. Okay, I'll hit him up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huge performances from the individuals. Right now. Thank you. So I am also preparing more. Cool. Um, that was pretty inf. That was pretty informational, and pretty informative. I mean. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna actually be right back, and then I'm gonna message that guy. Um, but I'll, uh, yeah, give me a second. Give me a second here. I'll do a coin flip also when I get back. So here, we'll do a prediction first. Heads, tails. And we're just doing heads, tails, uh, real life coin. And you're gonna get, like, five minutes on this one. I'll be right back, though. Give me a second on a break here. Um, is there anything I could put on? Not really. Nothing really to show here. Okay. These predictions need to stop. I don't know what to predict, though. That's a problem with these things. I'm going to get some water, though. Be right back.
Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Male loneliness has been cured. I'm back. Um, I'm going to skip through this Elige one, but I'm going to watch that demo review of Foggers that that guy redeemed uh, after this. So... Actually, oh, you, the channel point pred is done, pretty much. Get your... So, um, here's the coin. Here's... This is heads. This is tails. Uh, hopefully you can see that well enough. It is a... It is a coin I found on the ground, actually, um, recently. Hey! Frequency, thanks Cooter for gifting a sub. 9999 just subscribed. Frequency, thank you for gifting a sub. Appreciate it so much. Uh, you're my new best friend. Let's go, Frequency. Thank you for gifting a sub, though, to Pooter. To Pooter 899999. Let's go. Okay. So, um, here. Let's go. Okay, flipping this one. Brrr. Uh, let's see. It is... Heads. That is heads. Okay, so heads wins today, guys. Let's go. Actually, wow, more people put money on heads today. More more money on heads. Wow, you guys are somehow prescient there. Let's go. Easy for heads. I'm ruined. <laughs> Rigged. It's just a coin. It's literally just... I'm a head fan myself. <laughs> okay, I'm going to watch some of this one, though. Major has concluded, and we have Navi as the winners. Congratulations to them. They've been playing super well, and today I'm going to be going straight into it, giving you my analysis on the matchup. But getting into the pistol rounds here, I think that this pistol... This is really strong to have duallys in A main. And I th actually think that if Kerrigan had like his players that were behind him, if they actually had anything besides util, if they had armor, I think they would have tried to kill him, but they don't end up going for that. They want to do like this A fake as these guys are out mid. So they know that they're out mid, they know that they're not playing on mid here. And as soon as they start throwing these nades, that's when the mid players are going to start to play. So here we have Rain under house, and he hears Alexi jumping at this moment. He's saying right now to Brookie, yo, this guy's jumping. Let's 3, 2, 1, peek this. Now, Brookie can't really get like a clean peek off this, but he has to just find a good timing in between the jumps. And he gets to kill on Alexi. He keeps playing here, and he sees JL at the end. So he's probably assuming 2B. If JL's holding that, then there's one more guy that's holding B. So these guys start playing, and they're getting this crunch. Bit gets mollied out. Rain plays off of that, where I am has to look at the guys in A site, and I am didn't have like a very easy choice there either. He kind of had to honestly, he he was just in a really tough position. So on this round, we're gonna see Phase doing an A rush at the very beginning, and th this is something that teams do a lot of time, where they'll start off like the half conditioning something where they want the other team to, to be scared or respect that part of the map. A lot of times, people they'll end up playing three mid, but here Navi they have wonderful already here. He's here to molly it, and. Also, another small thing is Bit is uh, in house. He doesn't see a smoke, and he knows already. They already have the info. Molly's them back, and now we're just gonna see them all converge uh, onto A, nuking the smoke, mollying out big box, and now we're just gonna get the chaos of all of these guys coming out. Just a really good, uh, really good hold. I think that Navi just played like a really good like safe round here. Let's look at the Navi. I'm gonna message that grid guy right now. I'll message that grid guy. While They're gonna I have kind one guy A, this. two guys mid, and I am. He's jumping out mid. He's gonna do this flash off donut. Bit is going to be behind Whoa. the house smoke spamming. That was the person and from the. Is, that he, thing was leaked I think by the that way. He's over committing a little. But that person that was in my chat the other time about the American Heart Association wants to do like a. A, co a stream like an american heart stream but i think it's i don't i don't i was kind of like i she yeah the, so that's that's what that was just was leaked but uh <laughs> i obviously didn't mean to leak that but i i'm not really doesn't really matter if you see it um so i'm not really sure uh what i feel about that one but, uh, yeah, let me get to the grid stuff. A little bit here on this gray. I think he could have jumped back into Donut. And Bit gets super tagged up, too. And now Wonderful is stuck in Donut. 
He even makes a sound cue that he's in Donut, which makes this kind of tough. Luckily enough, he gets here in time into CT to be able to kill Kerrigan. And now I like how FaZe, they slow down the round. They just chill in Donut. They can't really do too much. They can't end the round. And now they're kind of playing off of Brokey here. And th this is so unfortunate when I watch this. I'm like, I'm like, dang, this actually happens all the time. But it feels really bad when it does. But Frozen gets the kill. So as soon as Frozen gets that kill on Alexi, sees him. Kills him after getting Gush and then pre-fires Brokey, actually just saving the round. And then Bit was here the whole time, so he knows that he's not out. He has to grab Bomb from the guy in Elbow. And this was a really nice reposition because Bit has A pretty much on lock. Like, there's pretty much no way that he's going to lose. I would have even thought that Bit, he goes A main here, but this is pretty much the same thing. I think because uh, Robs didn't immediately, like, get Bomb and jump up uh, towards B, he starts, like, searching out here, assuming he's, like, in the middle and kind of catches him in the open. This round is going to be more focused towards B. And this Glader is where Kerrigan, he's going to be making this play Hey, Glader or Lol. And I'm going to so, so show you guys why he actually did that. Appreciate you see Alexi, he's, uh, he's shooting here. So Alexi's shooting through the, the wood. He's trying to go for spam kills. So now they know that there's one uh, in cave. And then after, JL throws this smoke here that's coming to the back. So he knows that JL is in this area. He just smoked. Kerrigan, he, he immediately makes that call. And Brokey's supplementing that with the smoke. Um towards short he goes through the smoke as as it's popping and catches jail off guard and pushes all the way up so now you can see all of this like kind of like in a flow so that's alexi b he's spamming he hears the cave guy he sees the smoke get thrown off the wall walks through and now he's gonna uh surprise jl really hard for jl there and it was really good that Brokey immediately like smoked short like off of all of this info that's happening and wait, we wait, already wait. had another smoke from Anders phase they already like supplemented kerrigan's play with the Anders. second smoke and now it's going to be really hard for them to win. And they pretty much are just going to have to save. Alexi's staying a really long time in a cave. Gets out just in time. And I actually really like this movement from Alexi. So he's doing this crouch strafe movement on this box. Where he knows that he's... You know, this is a very common uh, spot for the CT to play. And look at the way that he crouch strafes this. Twice. That was so clean from Alexi. And now I kind of want to highlight like the change in the macro for the CTs. For most of this half, they either single mollied on like the eco round or they smoked oh, single shit. molly yeah, with the flash. Gonna... So they kind of right. haven't been having too yeah, much okay. pressure guy, I just uh, towards mid. They've been mostly saving their yeah. nades. I, I mean, but I didn't this really. Is the first round they're going to be doing uh, double molotovs. Yeah. I think that they most likely were going to give yeah. up mid. I don't but know why that guy is just they're coming in my chat and it. saying Vu's uh, phases. They didn't do a smoke to uh, really push off Alexi. Normally, this yeah. the all, T's all, he's only like written five messages in chat and they all were just literally. So Alexi is feeling pretty comfortable here. Ima is also pretty comfortable. I think that he was Not waiting really to hear true. if um, Alexia was getting smoked off. That's why I think that they were going to give up mid, yeah, but they were kind of just changing times. the look. So they're been. like, hey, we're oh, throwing double Molotovs. I'm going to smoke. Okay, this is a this is a really thorough, thorough, super thorough breakdown. Um, it's actually, it's actually like, if you're really watching this closely, there's a lot of like little intricacies that are definitely worth going over in this. Um, I feel like... I want to see if these like says anything at the end of the map because it'd be kind of cool to think like okay was there an overall game plan that he noticed you you'll die without even seeing him just like that because i think he what see actually you know it's it's good and this it's was good, a really nice rotate in from brokey he recognizes like instantly that like it's donut he runs in he helps rops and he gets like this double kill we still have jl here they, i think kerrigan probably wasn't going to be expecting another guy elbow I, I think that it was a little bit of a, an unexpected spot for JL to be, and he had a really nice... Okay, yeah, I remember this. Okay, so, but yeah, it's like, uh, this is kind of like a well-edited demo review, practically. It's kind of just like talking about the important little part in every single round and breaking it down. It's kind of like what you would, what I would... I mean, it, this video did numbers, like it did, it got a lot of views, so it's it's super... This is kind of a fun thing to have if I'm like eating, I guess, by myself. It's not bad. It's actually a pretty good video. I think I just don't think I really want to watch 30 minutes of it right now. I, I feel like I'm going to go into that demo review of Fodders. Um, it's so we're going to go into. Yeah, he, he goes over all these micro plays like which is cool. Uh, definitely like I think you'll if, if you watch the game actually at a pretty like. If you know what you're doing when you're watching the game, 
and you're seeing like okay like you know when i watched this on the cast i thought this or it's like oh but i didn't really see how this round built up or was constructed like that little thing where he's like oh alexi b's spamming through cave jail throws a smoke so kerrigan thinks he has a timing to go through the smoke and to uh to kill him well sweet you know like that was a that's like a cool little read that he had so okay so David, yeah, it requires a lot of focus. Like, if I'm only eating and it's a meal that I don't even want to enjoy, you know? Uh, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get Foggers. We're gonna get Foggers here. We're gonna see what he's doing, what he's up to when it comes to, uh, I mean, this demo got reviewed. Jamie AU. Jamie AU redeemed this for channel points. So we're gonna look at this. I'll change the crosshair. I'll change it to his crosshair. People were asking for this yesterday. I will use his crosshair. What? I can't even use it. Wait. I can't even see it. Can't even... You can't... Oh, you can't do it from demos? Oh, yeah. You can only do it when you're in-game. I can't steal his crosshair. Foggers... Foggers is just literally a random Australian Tier 2 player that... Uh, it's a game setting? Oh, oh, yeah. You're right. You are right. You're totally right. Uh, View... Crosshair. So show player crosshairs, everyone. Okay. Alright, so here's his crosshair. So thank you. So yeah, Jamie AU redeeming Fogger's demo review. We're gonna see how this one goes. And uh I don't really have high hopes for this one. This might go to YouTube. No, I'm not gonna post this. I'm not gonna post on my YouTube channel an actual Fogger's demo review and make a thumbnail, and re-edit and upload this. <laughs> there, apparently there's a bug that makes your stream take a screenshot every frame on CS demos. Check your screenshots after. Uh, oh, okay. Make your Steam? Oh. Oh, what? Okay, we'll see. That's really bad if it does that. Okay. Who the fuck is Foggers? That's kind of what I'm saying. I mean, his movement is better than Kai's. So far, he's got better movement than Kai. Kai had the worst movement ever. So actually, you know what? This guy, this guy might have some juice. If you don't upload it, can I? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to upload my Twitch content to your YouTube for things I say, feel free. Honestly, feel free. Okay, well, they just crept onto the bomb site. It's already... It's a tough fight. It was, it's, it's already best, better teamwork than, like, Apex, though. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's see that. Let's see that smoke. Let's see if he hits the smoke. It is tier 2 CS, after all, so we have to see if they hit the smokes. If their nades land. Jag. Oh, it lands in. Ooh, lands in Jag. Very nicely. Ooh. Wow. So they kind of can sit here, which is a little awkward, but I don't think people will really do that. Okay. Cool. I mean, if you, if anyone wants to upload this demo review I'm doing of Foggers, I... Maybe, we'll, maybe I'll come at you for some other stuff in the future, but no, feel free. I'm not uploading this myself. You have you have full permission. Um, okay, that's his first kill of the game. He got a Galil kill as he was lurking there. Okay, so he's been the B defaulter for the half, throwing some utility. Felt a little hesitant there. Also, his team has two different smokes. Like, he throws his one smoke, then his other teammate throws another smoke there. That's a little... I feel like you, your whole team should just probably throw the same smoke, unless you have a really specific reason for it. But maybe it's because they didn't want to get shot from anybody who jump up. Oh, nice. Okay, that, that, that second kill was kind of nice. I wish he got the first one, but... Where is your You Are So Amazing alert? Well, that was for a... That sub that I just got was from YouTube. I literally tried for... I even emailed uh, Streamlabs support 
about like, hey, why do I have notifications for every time someone follows me on YouTube from the stream? And uh, I, I don't even, yeah, it was a, it was a YouTube su subscription, very different than a regular subscription. But thank you uh, to, I mean, anybody that's watching on YouTube, thanks for subbing, if you do. Yesterday I had a bunch of views, today it's less. I don't know how the, I don't know how the YouTube, like the one thing about YouTube streaming is that I don't know how discoverable you are. Like it seems like it's really weird. I don't know how they push people's streams and stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just doing it because it costs, well, it does cost me something. It literally does cost me $135 a year to just co-stream to YouTube, but I don't think that's that. I mean, we'll see. We'll see what it does for me in a year of, of streaming, of co-streaming, of multi-streaming, that is. Okay, so, did that Molly even, okay, does, does this even do anything? What the, what the hell was it? I mean, I guess, I guess it kind of landed at, okay, it did, it did. They don't push streams at all. Yeah, I don't see them on my, I don't see them on my dashboard at all. The, the streams. Okay, so people are saying YouTube push on your Discover twice now without being subbed here for Fogger's content. Cool. Okay, let's see all the utility. He throws... Where did... Wait a second, what? Was it just a flash? Where, where did... What were all the nades he threw there? Sorry. He has three nades. I don't think I saw the smoke he threw. Okay, so throws a Jaguar smoke, Molly for the cubby, and then he flashes for the swing. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah, it's just still kind of a later B take here. Like, later lane take. Just now poking in by himself. I feel a little worried about this. I mean, it, actually, it's kind of working pretty well. Just taking the aim duel. Oh, okay. Alright. Takes down Dexter. Wow, he's taking a lot of space by himself. It felt very... I mean, it was entirely individually driven. Didn't, didn't have any support. Didn't even have anybody that could trade. But... It ain't bad if he ain't dead. Now he's gonna help Lane out. Oh, okay. First contact was made, then he swung off that, his teammate. A lot of damage. He's done a lot of damage this round. Thanks for following on YouTube. Ooh! That was quick. That was quick. Okay, we're checking all the nades. They just double- They just... Who is that? Who did it? He's like, I got Insta. No, I got Insta. We both got Insta. Hey, what if someone missed? Okay. Molly for Jaguar there, realizing that there's some utility pressure. Is he just gonna go through? What? Well, I guess he expected that they weren't gonna go through his Molly? He's really, really putting a lot of faith in that Molly, which has been, which has expired some time ago there. That, I didn't love that. <laughs> I don't know that, that was a little crazy for me, but um, it had some kind of read. I mean, I, I mean, that guy could have shot him in the back instantly. Okay, really great timing, because Vexite just didn't expect to jump up and everything. Now, okay, good, good positioning. I mean, so far this demo's all right. Really all right so far. Other than there's like some little weird things like, you know, double. Oh, Fury of Foggers. Let's see. Just throwing a flash. Oh, they're going fast. They're throwing the smoke, the split side smoke. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, is he gonna creep through? Go through the right. Come on. 
Oh! Yo! Not bad. Oh. Oh. I, as soon as I saw that flat. Is that a team flash, too? As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, Dexter's gonna get the multi frag, isn't he? But. That ain't bad. I like. Okay, so. I don't know if people have seen this one too much. A lot of. A few teams. I feel like I'm not seeing it as much in pro games anymore, but the split sight smoke, what that does. Uh, obviously, we saw that he pushed up with it. It really protects you as you're coming up the ramp because you only have to focus on that that left side right there. It takes away the long angle, takes behind away the back default angle, takes away the the uh, uh, long and short that is angles. And obviously, that's a cool little improvisation there from Foggers, where he just sits in it as they're throwing counter utility. And you could see that how that really grouped up the FlyQuest players, where there was a guy that was throwing supporting nades from here, a guy back default, and a guy that was kind of, uh, actually, sort of, he's kind of past this area, he's more around here already. And so Foggers slipping the net. That was a nice little, like, nice little maneuver. Nice little maneuver. Did the requested pick this demo, or did you? Uh, someone... No, I didn't... No, someone... Uh, Jamie AU used channel points to get me to do this demo. So we're watching it back. We're watching Foggers, the next up-and-coming North American... Uh, not a North American. Australian talent. Okay. That was, that was... The round was collapsing, and he was trying to find something. He just has a P215 of smoke. Alright, yeah, simple smoke for the molly. The site, the split smoke is still there. Just jumped on through. And, uh, well, well, this time around, actually, one of the FlyQuest guys, Dexter, is the one playing off of it. Wow, Dexter is... Dexter is really kind of owning the site. He does the cool... Wait, did he mess it up? Yeah, oh, wait, did he get it? Oh, he got it. He got it! He got the good molly. He did the good molly. Okay, good. Good. He did the molly that I mess up all the time. I'm not a... I'm not a B defaulter, but... I'm not a B defaulter, but... I should be able to hit that better. Who has the biggest brain in CS2 aside from Foggers? Dexter. Dexter's brain is too big. The mouse players couldn't handle it. Didn't really clear any angles. Okay. Just full, full sent it there. Not gonna lie, that looked very... I, I'm not sure what he heard earlier to to just full send it through cave because he didn't even check like close left, close right at all or anything like that, but Yeah, still holding the, the flank angle. Uh Okay, there's a flash. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 get your gun out! Oh, oh. Oh, when the teammate threw a flash, it was like This is his crosshair? This is Harry Potter's crosshair? Oh, Okay. Harry Potter is the goat. <laughs> Harry Potter is the goat wizard. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. A lot of, a lot of action here. Very claustrophobic. Just throws that flat. Whoa. Okay. Oh! Oh! I thought he got both. Hmm. Okay. And able to handle a pretty chaotic situation. Wait. Oh! Oh, so close, so close, so close, so close. This was probably one of the tougher rounds. Where there's just so much utility surrounding here. And having to play through it looked pretty hard. Still got five bullets, by the way. Are you going to reload at any point? Hey, Polo, thank you for the raid. Thanks for throwing it back my way. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so much. 
I need to have I need to turn alert sounds back. I turned all my alert sounds off, but thank you for the raid. I agree with this title and it makes me upset. I know, right? I haven't even gotten into Yakinder and, and uh Liquid on the stream really yet. We've done a lot of other stuff already. We're watching tier two Australian Counter-Strike. Cause there's just so much there's so much unbridled talent here. Thank you, thank you, Polo, for the raid. Super appreciated. Let's go. Oh! Okay. Alright, gonna take some space. Eight bullets. You're just trying to keep this gun out. Oh. Oh, nice smoke to get through that. Yeah, uh oh. Oh my gosh, foggers. The next talent. Ah, oh, damn it. Alistair, my F tier offer. Okay, what does he play on the side? A anchor? I'd say this. Okay, from T side right there, um, made a couple weird moves. Like, felt like he kind of took some risks by himself towards B, but you could see, you could see some of the, some of the thoughts behind it. You could see how he's sort of reading the game well. I'm not, I'm not really. I like this demo a lot more than Kai's demo from Furia Academy. This is much better. Much better Counter-Strike. I can safely say Foggers is better than Kai. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a lot of fights. Oh, they got time. They really got... That was a cool little play, actually, from, um, from FlyQuest. Good timing on that. There's... I'm not gonna watch this. All right, gun round. Where is he playing? Yep, looks like he's the A anchor. <laughs> Thank you for everybody. I'm, I'm, you know what? Just because I emailed Steam Stream Labs and said, "How do I get YouTube notifications off my stream?" and they haven't responded. Ah, oh, damn it! You got owned. He also did that in a. Was that a? Wait a second. Why did he even do that? I mean. He just did it just to do it. What, what's what's happening on the map to make him want to do that? It's easy. You had the same issue. Can you can you tell me how to fix it or show me anywhere? If you can send a screenshot, send a. It's even like like this is the game state right now. This is the game state. You got you got like. No real, there's nothing really happening. Like, they smoked this. I guess they had mid control, and they had some of lane. So he thought, let me just go right now. But it's 1:32 on the clock. It's so early. You have to log out of your YouTube on Streamlabs. Yeah, but I'm multi. I am multi streaming though. So I'm I'm streaming to YouTube at the same time, and so I don't really want it to just go away. But I don't want YouTube notifications on this anymore. I'd rather it just be, like, when people follow me on Twitch, you get this really small notification on the left middle side of the screen that just, like, barely pops up. It's so, so small. But then, uh, I, d I just want, yeah, oh, I, I mean, I'll just play this out now. I don't, I don't need to slow this down. Entirely. Yeah, I don't really understand that, but I didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I'll, I'll say this. One of my least favorite things, so... There's a type of person that is a giga baiter on T side, but then always has to be that first entry guy on CT side. And that's like my most easily despised player because it just, it's just selfish. It's just entirely selfish. Let's go, little B is king. I'm leaving these on because I can't do anything. Else. Okay, that's one. Ah, good trade. Okay, I mean, these are, it's all really standard other than it's push. Yo, anybody that's subbing through YouTube, you're the goats. Let's go Lil B. Let's go Lil B. Stop asking everybody indiscriminately for feet picks though. How about we chill with that? Okay. Let's go, my name is Tito. You guys are all subbing now. You guys are all following. Foggers just needs to let Harry Potter work. 
Lil B asked a bunch of people for... Lil B asked hell of people for feet picks. It was kind of a lot. It was kind of a lot. Mm. I feel like he's really having trouble with his bomb side bullets. I mean, he's... he's most he's gotten at his bomb site's been one. Okay, he's gonna help mid as they play 3B. Do some nade work and stuff. Oh my god, Alistair actually got a kill. That's when you know it's bad. Okay, now he's just hanging around Donut. Ah, I hate being in this situation as an A player or a Donut player where you're just... You want to get on this so badly, but you really can't. And the problem also with this spot is that you stand here and they could literally go like this. If they really wanted to, they could jiggle, jiggle, and just crouch, crouch, crouch. Pre-aim. You're dead. You're so dead. You're so dead. Anyone here pulling up to Launder's Land? I am. I'm pulling up to Launder's Land. I'm going to be there. I mean, he didn't have a lot to do in that round. Okay, cool. Early, early A main space. Very nice. This should be good for a kill if they if they push him. But I think they're holding. Oh, okay. That ain't bad. Um. Okay, sir. Oh. Okay. okay. He's trying to make up a lot of ground very fast because his team's just dying all over the place. So, I mean, this is, this, is, unfortunately, okay, okay, okay. What, what you got when they're all going to your bomb site, your back's against the wall, and you want to make something happen? You got one. All right, Foggers, what you got? Where's two? Eh, one and a half. Okay, all right. Well, that's that. It was an NT. It was a good attempt. Um, what am I getting out of that from Foggers? I mean, he's not bad. He's actually not bad. He's actually, uh, he's actually totally, totally serviceable. I mean, the CT side, the CT side is hard to judge super cleanly because they really only went B on him <clears throat> or A really twice. Once when he was in Donut. Uh, on gun rounds, that is. He went, they went A on him once when he was in Donut. He went one for one. And then the second time he pushed into A main, he got one for one also. So, yeah, I'm not really, like, big on that. I would say the, the T side, I had some hope. I had a little bit of hope right there. I felt like, okay, we might be working with something. We might see something interesting. I felt like in the tough swirl of just utility and chaos that happens at b lane he actually held on pretty pretty all right he usually sucks worth noting this is a life game for him he usually sucks oh well i mean that looked okay why did you want me to do this demo what do you, you want me for this demo for you got any news uh no no uh frequency I, I contacted the guy that you reached out for on my behalf and and he just kind of said i'll look into it and i messaged him again and he's like just like pinged some people and nothing really came out of it um i'll, I'll message him right now actually And then Grid, I, I sent the friend request to Grit, to the Grid guy, Grid Stoyan, like someone here wrote for me too, so I can maybe get some co-streaming for that. So that would be cool. Uh, I actually have partner privileges for ESL Challenger League. So actually, you know what, guys? We can look at this. So I'm not ending the stream, but here's something to think about. So for tomorrow's stream... I already had HLTV up, so I didn't need to do this. So for tomorrow's stream, actually, I can look at... ESL Challenger League, and I don't see anything. I literally don't see any matches at all. What What did I get? What did I even get? Okay, ESL Challenger League. C oh, this is South America. 
Wait. Huh? So I actually have privileges to stream a lot of these games, but there's like nothing... Oh my god, it's all the way in like Saturday, and that's when I'm at Launder's Land. What, really? There's no other games? Oh my god. Ongoing events. So I have... Let me get this one. Where is it? ESL Challenger League Europe. So I should be able to see this. Thank you, Yatogami, for subbing on, on uh, YouTube. So... Oh, there were games yesterday for it? Oh, okay. Okay, next week's when it packs, picks back up. Next week is when ESL Pro League is, though. And I'm going to be watching that. I'll be watching ESL Pro League on the stream. So, yeah. I'm going to be doing part... I'm going to... It looks like I'll be doing partnered ESL Pro League streams, though. So, can I thank you for following you on Twitch? You know what? Why not? I'll shout out all the people that followed me in the last 20 minutes. Uh, you Kent, CS Hesiek, Okrad Leet, Tang TTC, Preston I Will Not Lose, Gumshoe Gooper, Lil Bambi 19, The Allo, The Scuba God, Sandio, and Blank CS. Thank you guys all for following so much on, on, uh, thank you guys all for following me on Twitch. I'm not gonna work pro league. I haven't worked the last two pro leagues, or the last the last pro. I didn't work the last pro league. That's when I. That's when this these co streams started. When I didn't get hired for the last pro league, I started. I was like, all right, let's just try co streaming. And now, I guess I'm going full time streamer, guys. I guess I'm going full time streamer. Thank you, Tamit KTA for following me, and thank you, Coasty Franzu for following on on YouTube. Thank you guys. Can I shout out everyone who typed in chat the stream? No, I can't can't do that uh is there fantasy oh there's fantasy let's go let's do this well here th this is the reality of situ of the situation for esl guys they have two analysts that have long-term contracts they have ca they have i think three caster pairs with long-term contracts and so they're basically they're basically always going to use the same people uh they're gonna they're gonna basically use the same people over and over again forever uh and then they have room for a single analyst at most events for ESL, and then they sometimes have B stream casters. So they have, yeah, Whirlies. Thank you for the sub. You're my best friend. Appreciate it. Yes, let's go. A sub. Yeah. Whirlies just subscribed. Bow you homeless soon. That's how it's looking actually. Uh, that's why. That's why I need your subs. That's why I need your subs so I don't have to throw my kids to the wolves. Uh, so. All, all, all support is appreciated. Time to grind being a pro for sticker money. Exactly. Now with all the new spots in, uh, now for all the spots in, in the Americas RMR, might as well just grind. Norbert, Electronic, Kerrigan, Brokey, and Snappy. Am I cooked? Okay, let me see this. Let me, let me, let me do this play now. Maui's Money Crew. So, okay. So, it's A and B, which is absurd, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna look at the event overview. Oh, not this. Okay, well, they're doing Kerrigan, Norbert, Snappy, Bro, Hooksy, Apex, Rain, Sphinx. Okay, this is wild. This is a wild group. Okay, so we're going to look through this. So, we've got... We got VP. We got... Okay, we got some of these teams here. I have to look at A and B? That's so wild. Oh, my God. Okay, so who has the easiest run? That's the question. Who has the easiest run to get to this upper final and win? practically um i think i think it's going to be vitality and falcons or and g2 so those are the three teams in b in a i would say it's phase and vp is going to be kind of exciting uh but I, I don't know if i can say for certain right now so I think of these teams, the easiest run for me on paper is Vitalities. They're playing Sharks in the first round, then they're winning. They're playing the winner of M80 Bet Boom, and this isn't this isn't IEM Sydney first event in CS2. This is we we know what teams are now in CS2. Vitality is going to win both of these games. I don't know for sure. I think G2 is going to win Tai Lu. I don't know if they're going to beat Falcons for sure. Falcons might be cooking right now. And if there's any team that I think is going to really kind of show up here, I think teams that are going to 
improve from the last time we saw them i would assume vp will because they got electronic and i would assume falcons do because they just have uh they have dupree and they have uh i mean they have a good core they have a strong core so i think i think this is easily a vitality double pick so i'm gonna look towards them for for players oof dude these are really expensive uh 197 zywoo 236 flames 214 and sphinx is only a dollar more than flames that's crazy Oh, but Mezzi is unreliable, even versus bad teams. He doesn't always farm bad teams, which is crazy. So I feel like you have to pick either Flames or Sphinx. So I, I'm, I'm gonna look at the ratings here. He's pretty similar. Let's see. I mean, we'll we'll fiddle with the we'll we'll fidget. We'll f f it. We'll f with it. We'll f with it a little bit. Uh, we'll put Sphinx for now. Let's just see what that does for us. And then other easy run. I feel like VP kind of do too. I feel like VP's run is actually kind of easy here. You play Fnatic, who have been floundering with Mattis, Crims. Like, this ain't a team. That ain't a real team. And then you're going to play the winner of 3D Max Saw. I feel like a VP is going to make it for, through the first two rounds pretty cleanly here. And then they might lose to whoever plays here. So that's going to be a little bit concerning. But I think I have to double up on Vitality. I think I have to double up on Vita. So I'll put Sphinx and Apex, just because he's the cheapest. Let's just put that there. And then let's do VP. Uh, rating wise, Norbert's one ninety seven. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's free. And then, wow, Electronics only two twelve. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna put. I'm I'm just gonna get fame. He kind of gets easy frags sometimes. He gets some of the easy. And then one eighty four left. Ooh, that's rough. Oh God, I think you have to get snappy. Uh. Oh my god, it's getting really bad over here. This is where it's really nice to have some knowledge about, like, uh, is Togs a diamond in the rough? Is Togs actually the truth, you know? Nafoni? No, I'm not I'm not getting Nafoni. I'm not getting Nafoni. Uh, Roman? Uh, I don't think Saw's gonna win for sure. Ooh, Vinny. I think Snappy is okay. Let's do Snappy for now. Let's just do Snappy, because, oh god, a second in-game leader sucks so much. Uh, so then what can I get here if I do that instead? Ah, Mezzi instead of Apex? That doesn't even feel that much better. That really doesn't feel that much better at all. Like, the Mezzi has a worse CT side rating than Apex. Holy crap, dude. My god. And does he even do anything well? Like, okay, 25% of support rounds? Okay. If I swap Sphinx for Flames, I can get Kerrigan instead of Snappy? Okay, alright, we can do that. Let's do that. I like that. So I do Flames... Apex, Norbert, Fame. So we could do that. Ah, uh, it doesn't feel that crazy. I think you're a major sleeper pick. Let's see what Eternal Fire's bracket's like. Oh, they're playing Astralis, and then they're playing Phaser. Well, I don't know if they're going to win this one. Actually, you know what? They could. They could. Actually, well, let me see Eternal Fire's vetoes again. I feel like it's EF. EF might be a, that might be a play. Ooh, they ban Ancient. Oh, they could win this one. And they might just force this to Vertigo versus Astralis. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, ooh, ooh. I, I think this first round matchup ain't bad. It's a second round phase, phase though. It's a second round phase, which is tough. But they might win this one. Because what are Astralis even going to pick? Astralis are kind of one tricks. They they basically are really good at Ancient, and that's it. They just keep peck picking Ancient. Ancient, they did play Vertigo. Hmm, actually, wow. You know what? I didn't catch this one. Wait, when did I... Wait, what? Oh, I didn't see... Oh. Hmm, wait a second. I don't think I remember that one. Uh... So they can play it. Ah, oh, damn it! I don't know if I. I didn't think I, I don't. I didn't watch this map. But I just felt like they were always really good at ancient. And then here was just like, okay, they had a good. They had a good. They did have a good CT side, but it's the only map I feel like I, I trusted devices calling on. Ooh, are they actually good at this map, or is VP just a dead team? In towards it. Indeed, they've got a slight lead. Even still, VP. Is this the one? Because of the other games I watched, I didn't really like Astralis other than on... Uh... 
Astralis right now, to me, are good at two things. They're good at their CT sides, and they're good at Ancient T side. That's kind of all I took away from when I watched them playing against uh, FaZe and... Actually, playing against FaZe. FaZe. <laughs> playing against FaZe twice. That's kind of what I got. So, I don't think I really want to do that. I think that's too risky. I think Major might tank it. I really do think Major might tank it. Uh, let's see. If I, if I do try to go for Major... It's not even cheaper. He's not even cheaper than Kerrigan. Yeah, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. All right, we're doing this. We're doing this. Yeah, we're doing that. Ah, this looks so bad, though. Okay, we're giving him leader. We're giving him... Uh, what the... F what the hell do you give... I gotta give him noob. This dude's been botting out. It doesn't matter who he plays, he's botting out. He could play the 50th ranked team in the world. He's still going to have a 1.05 rating. In what world are Apex and Norb? They they adjust it based off of team strength a lot of the time. I think CT or T side, he's been really good. Yeah, okay. T side, he's been owning flame. So we're going to give him that. This doesn't feel good, though. I'm not going to lie. This does not feel great. These picks, like the rolls, don't help me at all here. These rolls are not giving at all. Uh. Oh, headshot machine. Oh, thank God, fame. Thank God you're good at that. Support, though, this got to be the Bert. We've got to be Norberto. This has to be Norberto. Yes, okay. That's not bad. Could have been, yeah. Why didn't he pick Jame? Why would I pick Jame? I couldn't even afford him. Who could I pick? If I got Jame, what could I do? What could I even do instead of Jame? Like, if I even make a lineup around Jame being good, which he does get rating... Then I get still get Norbert. I'm basically banking on that. But then it's like I have to get Mezzi and Apex. Ew. Yuck. But then I could get someone better, like Calyx, I suppose. But that's not even that. Maybe Bro? Was he that good? I feel like he actually was good at Chengdu. I feel like he was pretty good at that. Oh. He was in rating, which is all stat these things care about. Mmm. But I don't really trust that that well. You know? Like, okay, what if I did Snappy? What if I did Snappy and then I could go, I could do something like, we're going to do Apex and Flame. Oh, Sphinx? Hmm. So it's Snappy instead of Kerrigan, basically? It's Snappy instead of Kerrigan and Jame instead of Fame. But I get Sphinx over, over Flames. This ain't bad. It's kind of, it's kind of dope. <laughs> Advent Stat Hunter? Hell no. He's on Twitch, isn't he? Uh, I'm on Twitch. I'm on. I'm co I'm multi-streaming, guys. I can see what you're saying on both YouTube and Twitch. Uh. Okay. Kerrigan is not a good fantasy pick. What about Snappy then? I don't know. I like. What is okay? What is uh? Yeah, I mean, Kerrigan, I actually just flat out give him the noob roll. Have you seen the random Twitter rumors that Vitality Plus... Yeah, those are just... The, I mean, I mean, if they actually got Yimpat for... If they actually got Yimpat for Mezzi, it'd be so wild. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm just going to try this, see how this all works out. That's free. And then we have to give him noob. Yeah, we're giving him noob. And we're giving him T or CT? I think CT. Is there anything better? I think 3656 has got to be the best. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay, there we go. Okay, that looks, that looks, that's chill for me. Oh, Eco? Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god! Okay, you are 100% right. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, I want to... What ninety percent? But he doesn't play. He hasn't played a lot lately, so that's got to be a low sample size, right? Like, what has he even played? He's got how many maps? Has this guy played like 10? 31? Oh, okay, that's not bad. It's actually not bad. All right, whatever. We'll live with this. Camper is better than I. I have seen that before. Uh, which one's camper? Fifty. Oh my god. You're right. It is better. Yeah, it is better. It's way better. Okay, cool. Is there anything better than support for Norbert? No, surely not. And is there anything better for Apex than Leader? Probably not. 
No, I mean, I mean, I just think he's gonna win everything. So, and then Spinks, I think this is it. It's thirty six. Yeah. All right. I think we're confident on these rolls. Yeah. Made a small Discord server for betters. What the fuck, dude? You're banned forever. I'm sorry, dude. What the fuck? But you're definitely banned forever. I should probably just like I should probably ban discord server or something like that because you're just gonna why, why are you advertising that in here uh is there a maui cord see i made one i made one but i i just i i didn't i just didn't get enough mods and um dude there's just so many things i need to do to improve the stream i like fantasy talk but betting talk is cringe uh you're, you you might cringe at my at my my esl my esl watch parties then because I think they are all going to be, uh, it's it's very likely it's just going to be a whole instead of instead of doing a normal co stream. I think it's just going to be a complete. It's going to be it'll be watch party with like before and after probably uh, talking about betting stuff. I think that's very likely. Make a Discord specifically for unhinged betters to gather. They should just yell at each other. I made a Discord server for cute cats banned by Maui. Imagine the power you control them all. That'd be that would be a lot of uh, angry energy. Mount Monacy has to be a must in every single fantasy. That kind of feels true, unfortunately. That really kind of does because it feels like you're just left behind if you don't have him now. So what do you? What can you do though if you have him? Like how low do you have to go? You have to go for Kerrigan. You have to go Apex. You have to go Major, and then you have to go Hooksy. <laughs> Yo, what, what can you even do? <laughs> what are you supposed to do with this, dude? Like, this is just like watching one guy get 200 points and then everybody else having like five. <laughs> this is practically impossible. You have to basically just pick some huge diamonds in there. Okay, so here, what are the cheapest people here? 175. 177. Actually, Sin might be better than this. That might be that might be a bad oh wait, Sin might be a little better than that. Is he actually this bad? What is he doing? What has he been doing on M80? No, he's he went six and one in a game. <laughs> oh, he went six and one in a game. How does he go six and one in a game? It's like those numbers are like for babies. Actually, we're taking that. And then we're doing, uh, and then what can we do? And then we're going to go back to Snappy, because he's going to get the eco roll. Okay, cool. We got 50,000 left over. We could do this. Okay, so we're going to get rid of two guys who I don't even know. I don't know. ZDR is the guy that has a uh, degree in, in dark matter, actually. Wait, I can get frozen now. Okay, I have to get rid of DRG. That's just troll. That's just so troll. Okay, what can I do? 404,000. Mmm... Mm. Could I actually get frozen in Roman? <laughs> Roman? Roman is in major form. Dude, I could do this. This is this is a goaded lineup. This is an unbelievable lineup. Pick Naphne. You're right. Actually, Naphne got me into 1% before. He got me to the top 1%. Okay. Okay, 181 left. Dude, actually, we're swinging for the fences. Who cares? We're swinging for the freaking freaking fences here. Freaking. Um. Oh. Ask Google Gemini to make a fantasy team just for lols. Entry simple. He's not even in this event. Bit op. Oh wait, no. Entry simple. Lurker bit op. Zywu rifler rops support electronic. Well, that's not going to be obviously. Support electronic, by the way. That's that's cap. Uh, I think this is the team. I think I'm gonna stop playing it safe. I think I'm gonna play the dumbest lineups possible from now on. Cause by the way, I'm not doing anything in fantasy. Like I'm not even like last season. I was in the top ten. This season, I'm just like in the bottom. I'm in the tw I'm twentieth right now. I'm I'm botting. I'm doing terribly. I'm doing terribly. So it's time to just ball out of control. 
So I'm doing this. Yeah, I think this is it. Can I get anybody better than uh, than any of these though? Like, can I get? Let's see. Can I do anything different instead of frozen? Like, like we don't need frozen. We can do something crazy here. We can do something like. We can do something like Sphinx instead, because I think they're going to be good. And then can I do, say, Apex instead of the other guys? And then I get, like, uh, some brown, some bronze people. So so we got Sin. And then we ca can't afford a single person. Okay, so we cannot do that. That is not possible. So then we go back to Naphne. Or no, we, we're going to get, we're going to get Snappy. We're getting Snappy, for sure. And then 189... Hooksy? Mazzino? Maybe Mazzino. Maybe Mazzino is the one. Oh, hey, you want a profile sig? Here, okay. Here, I'll sign your profile. Thanks for redeeming that. Okay, signed your profile. Thanks for redeeming that. I'm going to do this. I think this is the play. I think this is it. I think we're I think we're living with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling this one way more. I'm 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 liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, we're we're doing that. We're doing op for him. We're doing. Well, I okay. I have to check these because like apparently, sometimes it's actually not. It's it's got to be the play to give him op, right? Like there's no chance. Oh my god, multifragger? No. Okay, opera is just better. And then we're gonna give. This guy, new brawl. I think this is gonna be a, this is like a disaster waiting to happen for for this guy. Support. Okay, we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll do uh, headshot machine. Surely. Okay, that's it. Like this is such a based, this is such a based team. Um, other than sin, let's see what what, what can we get. Roman, Roman might be a better pick. Yeah, Roman might be a better pick. What if I did... Instead of... What if I got Naphne for the lulls? What if I got Naphne? What if I got Snappy? And then I can afford... Mm, Kerrigan? No. I don't want... Uh, no, I'm going to go back to Mazzino. I think Mazzino has got to be like... It's got to be one of the biggest steals on here, right? I feel like he's got to be one of the biggest steals. It's either Major or Mazzino. I think I'm going to go Mazzino. I don't know, though. Mazzino in... I don't know if Mazzino is going to be able to play well in Malta. I feel like Mongolian people don't take to that kind of weather well. I don't think they know what to do with themselves. They can't... Like I don't even know if Mazzino can take care of himself. This guy's like five years old. He's 16. This guy might go to Malta and might get into a bar fight with the guy that, that killed Config. Sphinx ain't worth... I'm very Group B heavy. Oh, damn it. That's yeah, true. That's true. I don't know if it matters. I don't know if it matters. I don't know if it matters. I'm not playing any strategy. I'm playing literally zero strategy because playing any strategy has been very bad for me. I've been playing just like the 2-2-1 two, two, strategy of just like, let's just get the two highest rated teams, get the two worst players, and then just get a random fifth. And it has led me to absolutely... It went from a top 10 strategy last season for me in, in the the talent list or the celebrity list, and then it it's now like I'm in the bottom 20 or bottom 10. Okay, should I not get Sphinx? Rops over Sphinx? Oh! No, but the thing is that I think Vitality's going to win for sure everything. I think the, I think Vitality's going to win everything. I don't know if FaZe will. I think this is a little this is not mm, no, 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 no. I think I think I think Vitality's going to smash harder. I think if Vitality smash harder though, maybe I do get flames and then I get Let's just, let's just, we're, we're we're definitely getting snappy. So, these are our locks, okay? And we're getting Mazzino. These are our three locks, and this is the money we can play with. 394,000. It actually kind of looks like a lot for this point of the for this point of it. I already did the Foggers demo review. Mother Fogger. Meet the Foggers.
Uh, yeah, you have to have a Vitality player. I'm just gonna keep that. Hey, Foria, thank you for the sub. You're my new best friend. Oh, appreciate it. F Zero Raya just subscribed. Dude, I'm gonna go Sin, man. It's either Sin or or Roman. Am I going Sin or Roman? I think I think. Who's gonna win their first game? Who's more likely to win their their first game? Thank you, Fori. I appreciate that. Roman is my goat. Device should be farming too. What, dude? You guys, I, if if Device holds up the same performance that he had at Chengdu through everything, wall in game leading and having harder T sides where he's not starting every single T side. Like, guys, I need this to be clear. Device put up insane numbers at Chengdu, but I want to also make this abundantly clear. So 1.21, is he back? Well, I think calling was is a lot easier when you're playing against Steel Helmet. So let's take away Steel Helmet because that game is not representative of anything he will do at Pro League. Let's take away that. It's a 1.13 rating, okay? So now he has a normal, normal score line. But this is also two teams that had no idea what he was going to do. So the, now teams are going to be a little bit more prepared for... For, uh, for device, and I also want to say that calling these games was not incredibly hard when you are winning when you are winning every single pistol on your T side. Win pistol. There. There's your T side right there. Nuke. You win your pistol. There's your T side on nuke. Uh, overpass. You win your pistol on T side. Vertigo. You won your pistol. They won every single pistol round for all their T sides. And no one had any info about them. Steel hey, leave Steel Helmet out of your agenda. Is Steel Helmet Yeshua the problem? Ark just subscribed. Yeshua Ark, thank you for the sub. You're my new best friend. Appreciate it. We're getting close to 900 subs. We're almost there. We are 17 away now. 17 subs away from 900 subs. Nice round number. The real question is if I'm actually going to be able to get to 1000. I think it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard to get to 1,000 subs. I don't I don't think it's possible. But let's have faith, chat. Let's have faith, chat, that people will manifest money. So what else? Have faith that people will manifest their Twitch primes. So I don't think things are going to get... I, I, I don't think it's... I can just say device is going to farm. Okay? I feel like, if anything, he should just get down a little bit more. Oh, bull hit. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna be doing a normal co-streams for Pro League TBH. I'm gonna be doing sponsored streams, I think. I think that's more likely. I need to start feeding my children. Bull hit. Thanks for redeeming that, DCV. Okay, I need a bull hit emote badly. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make it myself. I'm just gonna Photoshop it myself. Okay. I'll Photoshop it myself. Uh, I'll come up with one. So. I need one more person. It's either Roman or 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 Sin. Who has the easier games? And who? Well, Roman's on the better team. But he is terrible. M80 could win this. M80 could win that. Let's see. Saw? Who are they playing? Who is Saw playing? 3D Max? Oh, they could t totally win that. They will get... Oh, they might... Well, they might have some weird weird luck here. I don't know. If they if they get lucky and face Fnatic, that'd be kind of nice. But I feel... Oh, I feel bad not getting anybody from VP. I feel like VP and... I think VP and Vitality have the best runs, actually, coming into this. Uh, but getting Monacy does seem essential if you really care. Like, Monacy will farm. He will put up in god numbers. Can you do... There's no way you could do a, a Zywoo Monacy team, right? There's no way. What if I did Zywoo instead? Wait a second. 
Wait a second. Wait a second. We get the guy with the least cultural impact of anybody in the GOAT conversation. And now we rebuild with Mazzino and Snappy. A little cheaper. A little more affordable. Should actually Could actually farm harder. He actually could farm harder just because the teams they're playing are bad. I just realized that Mazzino's shirt says, I love cologne. Oh, 1X love cologne. Oh, so these are shirts that they... Oh, they're jersey specifically for 1X bet when they were playing at Cologne. What? That's interesting. You can have Electronic and Kerrigan? Can add Norbert? Wait a second. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. We're so back. Wait, the possibilities really opened up here. It's so different. Why is it so different? It's like the difference is $3,000. That's crazy. Wait a second. What was I thinking before? I had to have... What? Not having Monacy as suicide, he'll play Tai Lu and potentially Mongols after. <laughs> okay, you're right. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's see that. Let's see that. He's playing Tai... You're right. He's playing Tai Lu. Oh my god. He's playing Tai... He's playing... No, but they're probably playing Falcons after. That's so, that's such a funny comment, though. That is a really funny comment. But Vitality, you're going to play Sharks and then M80 or Bet Boom, dude. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We don't know how good Falcons are. They haven't played with this lineup. We really we don't even know. Are you insane? Mezzi going to farm? No. Mezzi never farms. Mezzi is like the anti-farm. Mezzi is like a drought. Like, Mezzi has become the, the team Sanji, even though he should be better than Sanji. Add Electronic and Kerrigan? That's a wild. Wow. Wow. That's kind of baller, though, isn't it? It actually looks kind of sick. This actually doesn't look crazy. This doesn't look that bad. It looks bad. It's kind of sick, actually, though. It's kind of dope. I kind of like this. I kind of like this because rolls are actually kind of sick, too. Here, wait. Let's do this. He's not a sniper is the problem. Attacker? You could just give him either of these. F yeah, we're going to give him stat hunter. Oh, wait. Multi-kill? Wait. Has higher activation. It has higher... He literally has... He literally doesn't miss Stat Hunter. It's always points. But then you just have more potential with Multifrag. I think you go for the more potential. I think you go for more potential here. I'm going to swing... I'm swinging for the fences. Swinging for the fences there. And then we're going to give Electronic... Ooh, these aren't as clean. These are not as clean. Uh, and we don't even know how he's going to be in the James system. Uh, I got to give him this, though. I'll give him that. Whatever. And then and then Kerrigan. We're just going to give you a leader, probably. Noob or leader? Noob or leader? Whatever. We're going to give you a leader. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Electronic multifrag? And then Zywu stat hunter? But I don't know for sure. Wait. Okay, well, let's add the numbers. So that's 70 combined for multifragger for activation. This is this is 84. Bruh. Bruh, 70 lower than 84. Bruh, bruh. IGL for electronic. Uh, I got to give that to someone like Kerrigan. Okay, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with that also. I just feel like you have to have from someone from Vitality. I feel like I feel like VP and Vitality are the two teams that are most likely to farm their group or to farm farm stuff. And I really do want to have a Zywu or Monacy. I do want to have one of them. Uh, 
Yeah, okay, we're just gonna do this. Screw it. Top of the scoreboard. This motherfucker getting a lot of trade frags. Uh, no one's gonna be bottom of the scoreboard here. Actually, headshot. Let's do the headshot for Mazzino. Let's give him that. For nades. Uh, I think... Uh, flashes. Oh my god, everybody sucks at throwing flashes on this team. Uh, for bait, definitely gonna give that to Kerrigan. These are all BO3s to start also, so you don't have to really hold off on boosters and things. And then snappy bottom of the scoreboard. Eh, it's like... It's pretty... It's like an always a good chance, to be honest. Oh, assist? Maybe? No, I'll give that to someone else and guarantee it. Uh, farmer? Oh yeah, farmer. Sure, 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 sure. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Wait, what? Nouns changed their lineup? At this moment, wait a second, what is this? What is this? Arts, 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 I... <sighs> He's lost it. He's lost it. He's lost his marbles. Art. At this moment... Strangely enough, I find myself happy. It's like the release of death. It's like the sweet release of death. It has been a while since I felt free. Fury is now bench former captain at it. Also, this picture is just perfect for Mayshell TV. This is a perfect picture. Art has over long, over six year long, tenure. I just want to read it. At this moment, strangely enough, I found myself happy. Art reflected in a post on X. It has been a while since I felt free, since I have been this excited, thinking about my future. It hasn't even been two days since I have been out of the team, and I already feel reinvigorated, energized, and determined. I thought I would go through a period of reflection or something like that, but my feelings only show me that I love to play, I love what I do, my path is already clear. The 20-year-old captain behind Furia's breakout and rise to international notoriety has un is unorthodox and aggressive. Okay, I want to read more quotes. Give me more quotes. The last year was extremely exhausting for me. I did it and gave everything I could for the team. Art continued in his statement. I constantly sacrificed myself technically and psychologically in pursuit of the team's success. I did, undid, and redid everything at least 10 times. These efforts all came to a head at after I am Chengdu, a group stage elim for Furia that followed after early exits from Kato play-in, the elimination stage of PGL major and failed efforts in online qualifiers art was removed from the active roster and gary announced to be transitioning away from the role of head coach i feel that we were close and although i'm left with the feeling that the job wasn't done i leave with my head and head held high because i didn't give up for a single second he stated for the rest of this month i will decide on my new family team spend time with friends and family and connect more with the community my family and friends already know how much i love them but i would like to apologize for being disconnected with my fans i promise that during this period i'll stream more and be more present and transparent despite all this i've received a lot of affection sometimes even unconditional from you even though i didn't deserve it I think I'm blocked, so... Yeah, I'm blocked. So I can't even see that, um, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I don't even know when he blocked me, by the way. I don't even know when he did that. That came out of nowhere. Uh, what is Galas watching right now? Esports World Cup. Okay, interesting. Are we in Roster Mania yet, chat? Self-promo on his stream? We will never understand. Twenty Brazilian so sensitive. Is there any fantasy league I could join that you are in? Uh, I'm just doing the main fantasy league. Who mowing the snake? Am I reading? I'm sure gonna lose money to his. What is this team? Is this? Do we know what this is? Wopa. Wopa is. Is there anything? Breezer Knopf. Leaks? Danish Leaks! Danish Leaks is playing Lumsen and Vester with Addy. Uh, I love playing CS myself and I hope to be able to help young girls and boys find and cultivate their passion. Cool. Adam Edward F. just subscribed. Wopa Gangnam Style. That's good. Wopa Gangnam Style. That's not bad. That ain't bad. Wopa Gangnam Style. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what else? Vorborg searching for new opportunities. I mean, ecstatic or pre... Wait, he wasn't even on ecstatic. What am I talking about? I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Um, He was GM... It was weird. He was... What's weird about... About... 
about Vorborg is he went from being a GM to being a coach. And then and he kind of just, like, the EG stuff was... You know, people can say what they want about EG and how they were really bad, but it's like, yo, you have to put some responsibility on the fact that, like, there was a coach and there was an IGL, namely Vorborg and Neelan. The nouns news? Okay, let me check what the, the noun... Let me check the nouns news. I'll give my... Th I'm assuming it's on Dust 2. Nouns add Clasia. Clasia on trial. PGL lauded for expedited payment. Okay. Fury of... Okay, this is all cool. Okay. All right, let's look at this. So, Marky has been benched after 14 months with Nouns. At first reported by D2... Nouns have announced the addition of Clasia on trial while Marky has been moved to the bench. Clasia's trial with Nouns is set to run throughout the remaining two weeks. Uh, with a 20-year-old, he's only 20, wow. As a video, as stated in a video released, the goal of this change is to change the dynamic within the team while reevaluating the future of the lineup. In adding Clasia, Adren, let me watch the video. Hey guys, wanted to give you a roster update for Nouns. Uh, moving forward, we will be moving Marky to the bench as we trial his position. Um, it's been a pleasure to work with Marky so far this year, and I know he's had a, a good year last year with Noun, so uh, I'm sad to announce it. Uh, he is a great teammate, and w but we are just simply looking to um, change the dynamic within the team. And I felt like this was a pretty good period within the season with not much going on for us to reevaluate and to see what our, our, our future looks like. So um, that being said, I, I do like the idea of us staying full North American and giving younger talent within the scene a chance and going forward we will be trialing Klesia I think he has Klesia. a lot of potential and firepower and I'm excited to see what we look like with him uh, and if you want to see what we look like we're actually playing with him today in the esports world cup qualifier uh, so yeah check us out at Nows Esports hmm. is that showing on here Sports World Cup qualifier. I don't even see that. Uh, how do you even watch that? Uh, there's the Asia one. Can I? Does it show the related events over here? Uh, let's see. I think it's still the open part of the qualifier, probably. Yeah, there's the open part. How do you even? Is there even a way to watch this shit? What the fuck? I don't even know how to do anything with this. Um, sure. Okay, well, that's that's interesting. I mean, I always said that with Klesia that in the limited time that I played with him, which was like a qualifier and kind of knowing about him, the dude is, I mean, him and George should be the best riflers on this team for sure. Uh, him and George are super good late round players. I think Klesia probably a little bit more in the mid round. Then, then George. I think George is like the closer on this team. Klesia would probably be the second, second last guy in, and CJ and Carson would be more early round people. I feel like Klesia is almost at this point destined to be one of the strongest people coming out of America as an individual player. I thought I thought him and George for a while were kind of in that rumblings of who's who's next up. He probably put them in the likes of like a Swisher. Uh, I, in fact, it would be a really cool team to see if, say, if there was some kind of weird shuffle in North America. If we had, say, Wreck, ooh, if we had like a Wreck, Klesia, Swisher, George, like four, and then what, Junior? I guess you wouldn't have an IGL though, which is the problem there, obviously. But uh, you know, those those four would be kind of cool. CJ is CJ's what? What's CJ? Oh, there's a there's a face it. Oh, you can go on face it to see the. Am I gonna watch the Liquid Games tonight? Where are they? Where are the? How do you how do you even navigate this shit? What am I even trying to do here? Okay, here. Okay, cool. Oh my god, can I watch this? Oh, we can do this. Oh my god. 
Oh, word. Oh, word. Yo, wait a second. Yo, 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 yo. What's going on here? Wait a second. Oh, are we watching some games? Who we who can we watch? I don't see any of the games. I don't see any of the teams I want to watch. NA's Last Hope, and it's a picture of Halzerk. I don't see anything I really want to watch here at all. How how long until we get other games? Oh, it's going to be so long. Uh, I think we have to... Wait, this game's canceled, so then there should the Liquid game should be on. Why is this not showing? Canceled? Why is that one canceled? What's going on with this? Just start. Bro does not want to watch Truck Lover 86 on Wicked. Can I actually even watch that? Okay, let me just see right now on this. Can I see the spectate in game? Hmm. I have more ELO than this guy. Put me the fuck in. Put me into MCS Gaming right now. I have more ELO than two of their players. Put me in. Okay, let me just see how this works. Let's see what this is. MCS Gaming versus Akimbo. The thing is, Akimbo should win. All those guys have higher elo than me. Yo. Oh. No. Nothing's happening. Not that. Steam is down, so they're pausing. Okay. Damn it. Gosh darn it. Uh. Okay, well, I guess that's that. When is this supposed to keep playing to? Is it going to play this until the end of the day? It's just... Oh, okay, so this starts tomorrow. So round five starts tomorrow. At 1500 PDT. Okay, cool. Yo, I could watch it tomorrow for the BO1 and the BO3. Someday TOs will start really realize starting brackets at 3 p.m. PST is a bad idea on a Tuesday, yeah. Uh, is the eSport World Cup didn't know about weekly steam maintenance? Unfortunately. Sorry, you think you missed it for, from the UK. Can you give your honest opinion on Smoogie and Mezzi? Are, are they the two best players ever players? You know, um, I know what I know now that um, if I'm going to get hired back at events, if I'm ever going to get hired for another event, I need to change my entire uh, persona and just do what everybody does that gets hired to events. So, um, yeah, they're the best players ever. Uh, Smuya, you know, like maybe a little bit troubled, but a lot of potential, really good. And here's his rating. And then um, there we go. So, and also Mezzi, I mean, I just think it's like, you know, give him time. Just give him time. And I don't know yet about uh, his play. Uh, I don't know. I think I think that they got to give him time. I think that uh, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna get it together. And uh, you know, you just gotta like, you know, they just gotta get together. They just gotta get it together. They just all gotta get it together. Mm, Dexter, just gotta give him time. Just gotta give him time. Uh, definitely should be uh, you know they just uh, just get him onto a roster and let's see what he's got. You know, um, this is uh, you know they both. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, Mezzi's still hella young, you know? Mezzi's still really young. He's still, uh, he's only 25. He's only 25-year-old talent, yeah. Um, you know, C9, I mean, they don't have an opera right now, but they just, they're just really young. They're just really young. I'm pretty sure you streaming and co-streaming will be make it inevitable to see you at an event. I hope, we'll see EE, bro. We'll see. Uh, UK Legend, Milk Toast, Milk Toast. What about German, ne German Nexa? Next, is Nafni good? I, I think, uh, Nafni's got a lot of potential, and I think he's still really young. Even though Glaive and uh, Pronax and multiple I multiple IGLs won majors well younger than he is. But he's still really young. Still really young. A lot of talent. A lot of talent there. What do you think about Dexter to complexity? Uh, just have to wait and see. Just got to wait and see. Is Zaiwu good? I think he's great. I think he's a really good player. I think he's a really good player. Uh, plays some great Counter-Strike. Uh, time and time again, he plays good Counter-Strike. And he should be celebrated. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think, uh, I think all these guys should be celebrated. I think they all should be, uh, everybody, 
Thoughts on Katie and Op? I think he's ma magically clutch. He's really clutch. Uh, he's got some great, great moments. Great, great moments. Good, good uh, cultural impact. He's he is the main character. He's the main character. You know what? Because of my career, because uh, I'm getting hired for no events, I'm just gonna be like uh, George in Seinfeld, where everything I do, I'm just gonna do the opposite of it, and maybe I'll get hired. So what I would normally say is Kerrigan washed. Uh, well, op Eve. So opposite Maui Snake would actually say yes. Actually, he I, I, opposite Maui Snake would say yeah. Wait, no, that's not. That sounds wrong. Like I don't think I'll get hired for events if I say that though. Is Skulls good? Uh, I think he'll be eventually good versus top thirty teams, but he just needs time. Just needs time. Just needs to learn the language and needs time. And ignore the fact that he had a six hundred thousand dollar buyout. Just ignore that. Uh, ignore all of that. Shouldn't judge that. He didn't make the buyout himself. He didn't do that himself. Uh, eventually, uh, eventually, skulls will have any impact on the T side, but it just needs time to learn the language. Uh, just, uh, is Wonderful a better fit for Navi than Simple right now? I think, I think Wonderful's a beautiful young girl. I mean, boy. Uh, and, uh, will, will one day, you know, be a superstar. Maybe, maybe superstar. Everybody's a superstar. Everybody's a superstar. Everybody's great. Everybody's really good. Uh, bro is Monacy. Yeah, right there with Monacy. Right there. Uh, it, what team should I watch to learn Ancient? You know what? Watch any Tier 1 team. You know, they're all playing great. And if they're not playing great, just give them more time. Is Energy going to make the next Major? They're going to get more time, so they will. Uh, do you think Kai will get the Get Rio MVP? Um... I gotta stay a little bit loyal to my brand, and I think that uh, the you know Brazilian crowd's gonna really hype him up, and he's gonna do some excellent work there. Mir is better than Electronic VP or Crazy, right? I think if Mir got a little more time, he would have had a lot more to show, but unfortunately, he didn't get it, and sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. So time and time again, you're gonna see that he'll have another opportunity. And uh, yeah, thoughts on Hunter? Uh, right now, I think he's just having some growing pains, you know. Uh, but he's a young talent. He's a young talent. Got a lot left. Uh, got a lot left in his wonderful career, which I'm sure is going to go really far. And I'm sure he's going to win more, more majors, more MVPs. And uh, why does everyone hate Hooksy? They just don't understand. They don't understand, and they'll never understand. They'll never, they'll never understand. Uh, they'll never get it. Uh, the impact that he has in uh, posting the .88 rating. Uh, Pro's going to start nosebleeding soon. Yep. Uh, is Kai Senat a W or L streamer? Uh, I feel like a W streamer. I think he's a big W. Donna! Donna is a W streamer. Vas, 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 vas. How much time is too much time? Never. It's never enough. Everybody's got more time. We've, we're, we're living on, we're never living on borrowed time. We're, we're living, we got, we're immortal. Uh, great stream, stream as usual. You will never understand. What about Taz coaching? Growing pains. Gonna get it one day. Should probably uh, just go back to the drawing board, you know? Go on a retreat. Think about, uh, think about, uh, you know, think about it a little bit more. And um, I think if he goes on a retreat, you know, he can uh, rethink. I gotta show you guys something, okay? I just remembered this, okay? I just, I just remember this. I have to show this. I have to show this broadcast. I literally cannot help it. Some of the best defaults. And what this does is. I have to show this broadcast. I have to show you. Uh, this is post game. And rush like. hunt for. It was really fun to watch. Back over to Freya, Pimp, and Noah. I have to show this. A solid showing from the side of Godsend. They continue their run here at the Spring Showdown, but in the same vein, unfortunately, once again for EG, they fall at the first hurdle. This is the savagery of the Showdown. They are eliminated here after their first match against Godsend. They sure are, and, and unfortunately, it's it's another one of those where... Pimp doing his job. Game, you've got to get them a bit of relief from that pressure. You've got to give them a little bit of time. But then, you know, Pimp, you're saying, I feel like we've been giving them uh, that time as well. It's, it, it's a really kind of a almost purgatory place for EG to be being in right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually feeling a lot of empathy for them right now. Yeah. Just because, like, it's it's super tough, and, and, like, being in that space as a player, it's, it's very dissatisfying, and uh, it feels as though you drop into a hole of darkness and there isn't a way out. And this is the, this is the mind space, you know, that these players are in, and, and whether they ever say it out loud or not, that's entirely up to them, but that's where they are. You know, and and it, it makes a tough job for the coach as well because where is he? He's thinking that he needs to figure this out. How can we solve <laughs> this? You know, when really it's like, man, I don't know if there is anything to solve. It's like, how can we just re? How can we just stop the momentum and reignite something else? <laughs>
<laughs> you kind of said it perfectly. Oh my god, dude! It's like, it's like, oh, people. Someone wrote. Someone wrote. Someone wrote. Someone literally wrote. This is a, someone wrote. This is burning bridges time. I, there's no bridge with Nifty. There's no bridge with Nifty. I'm not talking about Freya. I'm not talking about Pimp. You know, I like working we with kind them. Of talked about the individual players, but it isn't just that that's lacking. It's kind of the chemistry, the synergy, the, the team play that we just see lack of things from you. It's just, just no working right now, right? I like working with Pimp a lot. I actually love much working much with them. There's so many red flags, you know, yellow flags popping up all the time when you hear the, the players interview. You know, I'm built, you know, in terms of. But we're looking at the side of Godson. I was really impressed with the synergy they throw throughout this entire best of three series. Absolutely, Dumas was uh, incredible. Actually. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun to watch him. Uh, you know, getting this series, you know, that educated me a little bit more on these guys. Uh, and actually, I was talking to Danny just a little bit, and I was like, "Hey, um, you know, players like Lotto, players like Barton, they have more of an identity to find." Dumas seems as though he's cementing himself as kind of like this player who's always going to show up. He's going to be reliable, and we've got somebody like Henny, who, of course, we know very experienced. He's been, he's been through. <laughs> Through the jungle, I want to hear him know, talk about EG. In this experience, I want to hear him. Special Counter Strike. So we know what we're gonna get from him, and uh, we know that he's a superstar offer potentially. And we got Taco with the experience. It's almost like bringing in Henny has freed up. Okay. And was, what we see There's another EG line, line, right? Kind of send us what been the flags? So he's not doubting himself, and that's what's key. If he wants to be this consistent regular, if he wants to be this. Okay. So it's like another conf no, show. There's another EG line he has. There's another really good EG uh, line. Uh, really good EG uh, line. Uh, actually, something that you can play near for that one. Now going forward for the rest, of I would say uh, I think we teams are hard to play. Everyone would certainly be a god mode. You know, we've got these veterans in the side of Taco, in the side of Henny, then you've got some of these parallel projects. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the godsend lines is just positive. They just want. So, uh, another answer to this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. 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 I want to hear the, the nifty part here. I don't agree with that. Playing the A. We can keep playing. And for the proving, not being with each other. But it's. Bit of time off. Yeah, it's been rare. That's why, like, we can still. Has the potential. Just a support player for sure. Huge respect to Rush for giving us money. Day number one. What? Oh, wait, wait. There's another line he has. There's a for sure another line. Win the game, but where is it? I thought he said something about going on a retreat. Wait a second. Okay, wait. I think it might be between maps. It might be between maps. Ah, oh, shit. I remember watching this live. It was insane. It was like the best thing I've ever heard on a desk in my life. I don't know if I've ever heard a better line. I think this might be it. Might be it. Uh, okay, so, uh, uh, the line about going on a retreat. The line about going on a retreat. You guys remember that? On that oh, up of better so that especially in the buy round, you know, best uh, oh, God's coming out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean they were actually using all assets on the map. They were all over. They went A, they went B, they took map control. They had no issue. They seemed really, really comfortable, and I felt like their team chemistry was on point. And if you put it in comparison with EG, I don't know. I just want to give them a hug. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> show them some love uh, yeah. after that map performance. I, I love how you say that they were using kind of all facets of the map when we were talking about Godsend. They're going A, they're going B, because something this you line about picked the retreat, up which is crazy. about EG was this kind of fixation towards the A site that wasn't always working out for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was really unusual because I feel like most of the time when we see T sides on overpass, I mean, of course we see teams taking space on A because that's just necessary in your default if, if you want to end late B, which is so common. But they were just taking automatic and short B, and then they were, and then even if he died early round, they were still coursing four people up through A, multiple, multiple rounds. And I was really curious as to why, like, that was the thing. I don't know if it was just a preparation thing ahead of Godsend, uh, based on their last overpass match together, but um, it was really curious. Yeah, they seemed a bit fixated. Where he, do you guys know where he says, wanted to, to force it's, it to work in a it's way? It's too and long to try to find the retreat line. That, I guess right. if you throw this, time you can keep coming into that. And it's uh, going too well. This is the Molotov, this is Molotov. The retreat line is just. I need Needed it one so more badly. round on the board as well. Did I miss kind it? of painful, though. You know, you were saying that uh, you were sort of saying Godsent were the better team in that first half. We were still saying players like Breeze. Really Put your XP. Up, Thank you so much for the sub. You're my new best friend. <laughs> Butcher yeah, XP, it's a little weird, you know, I think you used the right Four word, Jacob, earlier when you said, uh, it felt forced, you know, and there is, like, a certain, Trans like, How do you find the transcript? This team is there a way right to do it? Playing, oh, transcript. Though, Holy crap, like, it's gonna be so long, though. Honestly, oh, if I was so working long. behind okay. the scenes with EG, I would say, guys, oh. let's go on a retreat. Let's okay, this is it! This is it! This is it! This is it! Around this team right now, when they're playing, that feels as though, like, things are forced. Honestly, if I was working behind the scenes with EG, I would say, guys, let's go on a retreat. Let's go on a weekend vacation and just get a reset nice. together yeah, and build some chemistry together. <laughs> like, and just, and nice. just like let the pressure just fall off the shoulders because this is what I really think this kind of a team needs. And then get back into the server, fresh start. And I think that's. Uh, I like how Pim said sounds nice. He's probably just like screaming internally. Saying, you know, we need to see more from you guys. Otherwise, you haven't really proved yourself as a team. Do you feel like that's having an effect on them, kind of mentally, when they're coming in game after game? Of course, because right now to them, there's nothing that stopped the momentum. Like momentum is such an issue in in 
professional play. I mean, you're, you're especially in Counter Strike, you're playing constantly. It's qualifier, and then it's event, and then it's event. And when you don't have an event or a qualifier, you're practicing. So this momentum actually never ends, and it's so important that you drop a, a steel pie wall. Just right subscribed. A orange pie. Thank you so much for the sub. Your name is John. In front of that, especially when it's not going in the way that you want it to, it's not in your favor. If you're winning, that's different. That's a momentum you want to keep up. But we need to find a way to stall this. Yeah, no, and it's a, a very difficult task for when you're coming in and having that much pressure or on your shoulders consistently as well. I love that we did get to see some highlight moments from Breeze. Uh, he sees somebody that you're looking at now coming into Mirage, particularly as that was Godfrey's pick uh, coming into the second map of this series. No, I'm, I'm tired of talking of individual players when okay. it comes to ETH. We had this discussion. Come together. And that's another reason. Uh, second Godsend, unsurprisingly coming into this one. What do you think the reason is why it might be favoring Godsend coming into this? Any things that you've noticed from them or Mirage in particular or anything you're expecting? Honestly, I don't really think it's a map-dependent choice. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because of the role that Godsend has been on. They just feel cleaner. They like they feel like a healthier team. And that's to me, that's that's the way that the odds sway. <laughs> so um, coming into Mirage, I mean, we, we've talked about Mirage actually a good bit today, mm. and we know how explosive this map is and how fun it is to watch. I mean, you can see the most beautiful mid rounds when it comes to Mirage. So I don't know. I mean, I'm going to throw it out there again and say, I hope I get to see a really great experience from the EG side, but who knows? It is kind of interesting, right? You look at Gartzen right here, the win rate, the last three months, zero percent. It is Gartzen who picked Mirage going up against EG right here. You think to yourself, could that really be true? I guess the context behind that is the Gartzen, yeah, they play a lot of Mirage, play the four times in the last three months, but it's against the best of the best mm -hmm. from Europe. I mean, teams like players, you know, the expanded roster, etc., etc. So despite them losing, they still feel comfortable. But this is also a point I want to make right now. You're going into the team like ET and you're picking a map you have not won the last three months. You have a 0% win rate on it. That's how little they respect ET right now. They just want to play to their own strength and they're not giving any damn about it. Yeah, Gods are definitely bringing this <laughs> right now. They just want to play to their own strength and they're not giving any damn about it. Yeah, Gods are definitely bringing in some BM into this best of three series and potentially the final stop here for EG. If they lose this one, they are out oh, of the my of the God. Premier Spring Shirt. I'm Oh my god. I think that I think this day was one of my favorite days to ever watch a dusk. It was so funny. It was so entertaining. It was like just it was like the retreat that EG needs to go on. Uh the the it's getting into a, a dark hole and the empathy that I have. Um that those were those are just some of my favorite lines uh why did i get onto that again um oh it's because i just made a reference to that where i was like i, I think they should just go on a retreat which is just always going to be it's just always going to be oh yeah i was being more positive about everything hey maui are you expecting hoping for any new formats next year from the tos and the abolishing of partner leagues what would you avoid to not become irrelevant next year as a two? Uh, what am I expecting? Hoping for new formats next year from the TOs. Form your name is Format Guy. Also for the one dollar donation. Again, thank you for the donation. That's that's actually greatly greatly appreciated. Um, and uh, thanks for everybody that subbed. Also while we were watching that clip. Um, what am I? What the hell? I don't want to see any notifications. What the fuck? Um. I I yeah okay what oh okay. New formats. So what's cool about the abolishing of partner leagues is that we can experiment a little bit with, more with formats where I think that something that tournaments or that Valve wants is that basically you're going to... Let me let me see how this shit works, actually. Like partner leagues, CS, uh, Valve statement. Like the Valve statement. Um so we have this Richard article. Valve have requested structural changes from CSGO's two largest TOs. Specifically, they have notified the parties about their wishes to change the way the current league operates. So... Um, the final form of the change is not yet set in stone. So... Essentially, there was something that I remember with a way you have to now divvy invites. And there's obviously, okay, I'll say this. There's a lot of room for new formats. For example, I feel like you could have some kind of, I'll try to show examples of this, okay? 
was that? What was that event? Hella long ago. Um, let me just do IEM events, and then let me look through the circuit here. There were some really interesting ways you could do. I think like Gamescom might have been it. Yeah, I think it was Gamescom. So I think you could do tournaments like this. So like tournaments that are playing down to lives, and then just doing this kind of. It's kind of like a round robin, but you're you're playing through your lives, and I feel like. This is a weird example, but I don't, I feel like, and it was also only six teams that were invited. I don't really know. So they just invited six teams flat out, but I do feel like there's something to, to be done here where with more, it's more like this with more TOs coming in. I do feel like there, there's likelihood for some kinds of weirder tournaments like this. I don't really know if you can really pull something like this off. Like this is an $80,000 prize pool event. And what about that event that was outside? Uh, outside. <clears throat> I don't really think anybody wants to play outside. Um, I, th I do think that with Star Ladder coming up into the space, okay, if you want to get to like more competitive formats, I, the one that was always really cool was Star Ladder, where they would do, it was incredibly grueling, like the Star Series events, where you would have all BO3s into a double limb bracket that would then qualify you, and the upper bracket final would qualify you to the playoffs at a bare minimum, but you wouldn't actually qualify... You wouldn't, it would like then give you a different placement in the tournament, which then has its own lower bracket that you would move into based off of all, yeah, all, this was all BO3s, this was all BO3s, and it was not a BO5 finals, but I think today this would change to a BO5 if it's this grand of a tournament. So you could do something like this. There were other ones too, like I think this one might have been Swiss. Yeah, so this was Swiss all BO3s moving into a BO5 Grand Finals. This is dope. This one's dope. Because then you get to just see the best teams in the world. Also, the way seeding worked is that team self-seeded. So, uh, they... The Buchol system. Wait, I thought they did self-seeding. I was pretty sure they did self-seeding. Uh, I was pretty sure they did self-seeding. Wait, what teams? Proper seating. So Blast, been, Blast has been doing it lately for some of their fall, some of their uh, Blast Fall Finals. They did self seating, and then they did. I can't find a, a way. I can't find an example of it though. I thought it was a star ladder. I was so sure it was. Let's just say... So this just says Bukholz. I don't know how you would get a Bukholz just from... Yeah, you're right. You're right. Bukholz and self-seeding are not mutually exclusive. I think they did use self-seeding here. I'm pretty sure this was self-seeded. So essentially what what I always liked... Well, my One of my favorite things... One of, it says rounds three to five for Bukholz. Wait, this is, oh, this is, this is season six. Okay, so the Buchel system, oh, you are right. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so. Doesn't show anything here. But yes, I think this tournament was it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it was. This, I'm pretty sure that this tournament was self-seeded. Someone's saying Star Ladder Berlin was self-seeded with Buchels. The Berlin Major was self-seeded? Was it really? No. Initial matchups are seeded using HLTV's world rankings. It was not self seeded. Uh anytime someone just objectively lies in chat, even though you're coming from YouTube, I do put you in a timeout for five minutes at least. So if you're just gonna if you're gonna say it's self seeded and it's not, and you just have an objective lie, that's a that's a timeout. That's a timeout. Yeah. It was clearly it was not. Um. Yeah, because I'm just trying to find it. No, do you know which tournament it was? I thought I'm really sure it was this one. I was very certain. 
either way that's a form so the formats that i would want to see come back would kind of be more like things with a say about like a like a amount of lives system i think that was kind of a cool like play till the last team wins because what that does is it gives you like let's say let's actually let me just kind of make up a tournament format right now off which is kind of based off of the same thing that i was just showing so i'm bringing up paint so what i would want for a cool tournament would be something like this and i you would just take the top ranked team but let's just say you have a, t a tournament that's like phase uh vit vitality navi this is great this is just great and then that you have um uh g2 let's just do that and everybody starts with four lives so they have four lives and they all just play each other over and over again and so phase and vitality play and so let's just say phase keeps alive vitality uh loses one and it's bo1s it's bo1s it's just maps so then you have phase not not vg2 i mean you have four lives three lives uh you have you just keep going down this and so now the f two teams with four lives play each other so let's just say phase keeps alive with four this team has three then you have the two teams that played three three play each other so now you have one with uh three and then you have one with uh two and you just keep playing across like trying to avoid you avoid each other for as long as you can but you're trying to play like the highest ranked against each other um, so three, two would play each other. So then you, one team has three, one team has one. These two teams play each other. This would have team has four. This team has two. Sorry, that was this is messy. You kind of get where it's where this is going. And so what eventually will happen is that you get to this grand final, and and what could possibly happen is like based off of all this level of play, like it could work like this. By the end of it, FaZe might still have four lives, Vitality has one life, Navi's out, G2's out, and FaZe and Vitality lock horns in a potentially four maps, four maps in a row, and then what you do is that FaZe, like, it, it takes away that, that conversation about upper bracket versus lower bracket advantage. So what would happen is that Vitality has to beat FaZe in four consecutive maps, and imagine how crazy this tournament would be if... Imagine how crazy this tournament would be if Vitality won four maps in a row. If Vitality won four maps in a row and then took down FaZe and they kept their one life alive throughout to win this whole thing. This sound it would it could get so crazy. It could get so crazy. The schedule could get a little weird for sure because, but it if you could if you could schedule this in some way, it wouldn't be I mean, you would have to just kind of like bite the bullet on the fact that this could get a little bit weird. Okay? This could get a little bit strange in terms of timing. Won't it be a new veto each? Would it be a new veto each map? Um, so I think, for example, that other event I was showing, the Gamescom one, I think they did some kind of. Uh, no, not that one. So I am Gamescom. This was a. So they did vetoes. Like, how do they do the vetoes? So they did. I don't know how. I forgot how they did vetoes for this tournament. So. There are ways you could play with it, though. That would be... So, wait, where is... Does it say anything about vetoes here? Format. Six teams will begin with four lives. Each game costs them a life. Winning a match allows the team to choose the next matchup in the tournament. The games will continue until only one team with lives remains. The, game, the map for each team will be selected by a community poll. This part, I don't like. This part is ass. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it by a community poll. Do not do it by a community poll. That's for sure. Uh, but I like I like the I actually kind of like that you get to choose your next matchup. I think that's kind of cool. But I don't know if that's always fair. Uh, I mean, well, you know what? Who cares? Who cares if it's fair? But I wouldn't do the community poll. I would not do that. This is where famous Gobby fact clip. Yeah, I think you're. I think so. I thought so. Wait, is he even here? Wait, was what team was he on? What mouse? Mouse? Yeah, mouse. <laughs> Nuke overpass every match. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there could be kind of more fun tournament. So I'm, I'm, because I know that that person that donated was hoping. Am I hoping for or expecting any new tournament formats? And I think that yes, you could have kind of fun ones with still top teams, and then you could also have incredibly mega competitive ones like Star Ladder in uh, like the Star Ladder tournament in uh, the other one that I was showing earlier. So, which I think was self-seeded, be all BO3 Swiss into BO3 bracket with double OM. Like, that's crazy. Oh, Cato 2019. 
for self seeding. Oh, cool. Cat. I thought it was Star Ladder. I was like, I still don't know how this Star Ladder was seeded. I, I, I still am not sure. So let's see, Cato 2019. How do I even find that? How do I even click that? Uh, Amer. How do I even get? I'll just type it here. Oh wait, right here. Here, this should be it. What? This this one? 2019. Seated using ESL CSGO World Rankings. No, am I going to have to ban you for 10 minutes? This says it was seated using ESL CSGO World Rankings. What? 29? Oh, 2020. Okay, I'm banning myself. I'm going to ban myself. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we got close there, though. We, got, we almost banned myself. Almost banned myself. I thought I'd... Oh, you're right. Okay, this one. Ah, player-selected seating. First seen at Chicago. Oh, it was at Chicago. I'm banning myself, though, for, for almost banning you. Okay. Okay. Get him. Uh, I'm trolling. Yeah, I was trolling. So, we wanted to get down to the bottom of it if... Uh, Oh, hello. Who do you think would be the best replacement of Yiki NDAR if he is kicked? Malbs MD. Donk. Next question. I know that's a joke, but like, why, why would you limit yourself to a North American or America's region player if you are... Why would you limit yourself to America's region if you're replacing a European? You can get anybody. You would, uh... Yeah. Thanks for the donation. It was an easier answer than you may have expected. But if I could... I mean, you're saying who's the best. I told you who the best is. Uh, you know? So, also, it's funny that Nafly asked me that. Uh, if I were to... Okay, you really want to go to, like, America's region, though? Um, Elige. There. Elise would be good. Uh, if you want to go to this team, yes, Mob's roll for roll would would be the best. That is true. If I want to keep going down, M Marky. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't know who I would do here. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't replace Yakindar with Marky. Um, <laughs> uh, keep going. Rush knows what he's supposed to do. Is he gonna get the kill? Well, Yakindar is not anyways. NRG hexed boss bang uh elevate closing that truck lover no freakazoid take flight kojimo limitless poseidon fluffy aimers penlem might This guy's Latvian. This guy's literally Latvian. This guy's literally Latvian. <laughs> um Diem? Lake. Strife? Joel's. This guy's like... This guy's been around a while. Tensky. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm sure that there's going to be blah, 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 blah. I'm sure that there's going to be people that are covering the games that are coming up on that open qualifier. Um, I started the stream a little bit late today because I was doing a podcast. I was doing the, I was doing the, um, Snake and Banter podcast, but I'm going to be on more at my normal time tomorrow. I'm going to be on earlier. So this is running a little bit later than I normally, maybe I would normally finish around this time, but I just... Wanted to go a little bit longer uh, to fill some time in. So, um, am I going to co-stream Pro League? I'm going to do watch parties. I am going to be doing watch parties for, for for Pro League. So, 
Yes. So I have a podcast coming out. Thanks to Rabu, Robu, Rabu for for being on that one. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow, probably nine a.m. Pacific time. So um, I don't know if I can watch anything tomorrow. I don't think there's going to be anything to watch. Ooh, I want to. I really want to ask Relog if I can co-stream stuff because I'd be kind of down to watch something. Like, let's see if Rain Waker is still good. Is Rain Waker the goat? Or is he still rainwater? Yeah. But um, thanks, guys, for dropping by. Uh, y'all were y'all were chill. And um, we'll be back, back on schedule with a stream tomorrow. Normal time. Normal place. And uh, I think I'll do a Thursday one also. Just because I won't be on for Friday because of Launder's Land. But thank you, guys. Follow the Twitter. Follow the TikTok. I'm going to give myself a... Uh, I'll do. I'll give myself a 12-hour ban. I'm gonna give myself a 12-hour ban in my own chat right now, so I won't be back for at least that long. Thanks, guys. Um, peace out, as always. Actually, you know what? Let's let's raid somebody because raiding raiding is caring. Raiding is caring. Uh, let's see. That was a weird sound, but that's what happens when you open up on Twitch. You're assaulted with weird sounds. We got. Let's see, let's see. I think Semphis is doing actually you know what? I'm gonna just throw it to Semphis. What the Because I love training legs. We're raiding Semphis. This is a good stream. Um, it'll be high carb day. You forgot and, to uh, shoot I'll try close to film your hot tub stream. Food alongside it and maybe do like a combo of the Twitch and stuff, but uh just gonna throw up. Yeah, thanks guys, thanks for watching. Wait, is he exactly so is he done? Love you guys. And, oh, too uh, bad. Too bad I'm rating him. As always, being yeah. toxic is a choice. Peace out, boys.